we got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out tomato cow. My friend just got down. I revived ah! him, now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park streets. Look at the map, go to the mark sheet. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. <laughs> Such a good song. What a banger. Oh my gosh. Ah, I'm here. I'm so sorry. I'm late. I'm here. I promise. I'm here. Here. Ready. Finally. Let's get this party started. Okay. Let's move this over here. How about that? Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday! Welcome in! How are we doing? Thank you guys for being here. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry I'm a little late. <laughs> I love how every weekend I say, Oh, I want to start early, and then I can't. And then today I was even 30 minutes late. I have a good explanation, though. A good explanation. But we'll get to that in a second. But hello. Welcome in, everybody. It is I, your vampire queen. Velvet, I have returned. Thank you for being here. Gasher and Salvo were here in the offline chat super early. Hello, hello, welcome in. Hi, Salvi, big fan. <laughs> Gasher, I'm sorry you're fighting the mind goblins. You I, you will win those battles, 100%, I believe in you. At least there's Velvet streams and clips. You're so sweet, thank you. Tater, hello, hello. Jalal, congrats on redeeming Jalal is here. I can't stay long, but wanted to pop in. Hope everyone is doing well. I hope work goes well. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for the posture check, hydrate, and wrist stretch as well. Apollo! Hello, hello! Hello! Welcome in! Joel, thank you for the victory royale. What an epic way to start the stream. Xbox to play Fortnite today. Oh my gosh. Green is for Xbox. This is true. Very true. Green is for green apple. Um, also true, and that's such a good flavor. Good green apple flavored stuff is really yummy. Excuses? I have a good reason, they're not excuses. Apollo said he won't play Sea of Thieves with me. I never said that. Jalal is just throwing out lies and slander in chat right now. Damn, somebody time him out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Thanks, Bell. Of course, of course. I will say. I was a little late today because I mentioned this on stream a while ago. I had like done some furniture rearranging in my room and I put my desk in a different corner. And well, I lived with it like that for like several months, but I found out the hard way that the, the corner of my room that I moved the desk to, the floor was uneven. And so the chair when I sat in it was uneven and it was slowly killing me. <laughs> It was slowly killing me, and I was really mad because I really liked the furniture arrangement and I didn't want to move the furniture around, but I really could not sit on a chair unevenly, on a floor that was uneven. And the only options to fix that were like, fix the floor, which would have been like a whole cement situation, or just move the furniture again. Uh, so I finally gave in after like, I don't know, it's been three months maybe now of dealing with that. And I just moved the furniture again. So all day today I've been moving the furniture. And I'm finally sitting on some flooring that is even. So my back will not hurt. And yeah. <laughs> so if anything is scuffed today, if anything is broken, it's because everything had to be unplugged and replugged in. And I'm hoping that I plugged everything back in in the right place. <laughs> but we will find out, I guess. <laughs> we'll find out the hard way. And if something is broken, well, then that's a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> But, uh, it's so weird because ultimately all I did was flip the desk over to the opposite side of the room and I kept everything the same, but everything's flipped. So, like, I don't know, it's like such an out-of-body experience where I'm sitting here and everything is the same, but in the opposite position it was in before. So, like, my desk, my monitor is on my right side instead of my left side. The mic is on the right side instead of my left side. I don't know, I feel like almost very off because it's like everything is in the opposite side it usually is on ah but i think this is a lot better so far the setup feels nice chat is a little far away from me now but i'll figure something out maybe i'll pop out chat so i can move it um the microphone is in a much better position hopefully i sound okay 
Ah, oh, man. My back hurts from all the furniture moving, but I'm glad that's over. I'm glad that's over. Let me see here. What happened? What happened in chat while I was ranting? Uh, timeout Jalal? <laughs> Jalal definitely needs a little timeout. Technically, he didn't say he would either. Did you even ask? Oh my gosh. Jalal, I'll play with you sometime, but I gotta get through my, um, uh, my Valheim addiction first. I wanna make more progress in Valheim. Tara, hello, hello. How are you? I'm okay. I'm super sore right now, but I'm <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have to go suffer again. Bye, everyone. Good luck at work. Apollo, I will say, like, I played a little bit of Sea of Thieves, and it was a super fun game, it seemed. I, I feel like it was a little complicated. Like, starting out, I was a little overwhelmed. There was so much to learn. There was so much that they threw at me. But I'm sure once you get it down, it's loads of fun. And, uh, the pirate theme is cool. Not many games that you can really play as a pirate nowadays, right? I don't know. Sea of Thieves is, like, the big one. That's a fair reason to move things around. Yeah, I was just- I was just killing my back. Killing my back. And I was getting to the point where I was putting cardboard- like, flattened cardboard boxes under my chair, like, under some of the wheels, trying to even it out. But that very quickly became a mess because after like a while of sitting on them the boxes would flatten and then it would be back to being uneven and so then I would pile more boxes trying to even it back out again. And so I was just constantly fighting with how the chair was uneven. So I'm moving furniture and right now I'm really liking it. I hope that uh, I hope that this is better. <laughs> um. I feel like I was so used to sitting on something uneven, but now I don't even know, like, what should be even anymore. But I think this is more comfortable. You sound as beautiful as always! Thank you! Well, I'm glad. I hope the acoustics sound good over here. <laughs> I hope so! Um, I really didn't have much time to test anything, because by the time we were done and I wanted to shower, and wash my hair, I literally, like, that's why I was even late. I wasn't gonna make it by 8, so I kind of ran here, and I turned it on and put everything up and turned on stream, and <laughs> so I really didn't have time to test anything. So, uh, hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> Went to my first classic arcade tonight and played my first classic arcade games, and now I'm addicted. <gasps> oh, wait, that sounds like fun! You mean, like, like the ones in the, ma in the machines that you, like, actually manually press buttons that's so cool I don't think I have any places like that near me that sounds like a lot of fun <gasps> Nick thank you for the posture check I don't have too much to announce today it's a Saturday we are wrapping up the week um, and I really just want to I already got a late start so I kind of just want to dive into the game I want to dive into more some more cyberpunk um, we'll be doing some more main story because I haven't touched the main story, you know, in a bit. We played some on Tuesday, and the story is getting really good. So I want to continue some more today. Oh, Nyx, thank you for the rest of her team. Adventure Velvet, I got you. I got you. Where is she? Let me get her. <clears throat> oh, hiccup. Adventure Velvet. Uh. DDR and Pac-Man and a lot of other classics. Oh man, DDR would be so much fun. So, so much fun. Um, I actually, I've never played DDR, like, obviously, classic, like, the classic way in an arcade. But, I don't know if anybody remembers, but there was a DDR game for the PlayStation 2. And you could even buy, like, a mat that would plug into the PlayStation. So you could kind of simulate the DDR experience at home. And I played the fuck out of that. It was so much fun. I- oh my god. I still have the mat, and I still have my PlayStation 2. So I wonder if I could ever, like, get it working again. I know the cables are all different nowadays with the TVs and stuff, but oh my god. And it's so crazy because I'm like, I didn't really like to exercise as a kid, but that was exercise. I mean, you would sweat. Like, doing some of those songs on, like, the hard modes where they got super fast, that was kind of crazy, but it was so much fun that I didn't even realize I was physically moving. <laughs> I'm back, how to grab pizza. Oh, no worries. Oh, I hope you enjoy your pizza. Um, 
what kind of dive though? <laughs> wait, wait, what do you mean? I forgot. It was for oh, it was for a friend's birthday and they booked out the whole venue for the night. Oh, <gasps> that's so fun. So you had access to like everything. Everything you wanted to. Oh my gosh. Andy Bear, hello, hello, welcome in. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, having a good day so far. Who needs a gym when you have DDR? Exactly! It was such a good workout though, like so fun. But like I said, the time would fly by and I didn't even realize I was doing exercise. That was lit. It was so fun. I'm like sad that that doesn't seem to be a thing that is, exists anymore. I mean, after the DDR with the mats, there was kind of a shift in the technology and like Xbox came out with their Kinect thing. And so then they were like dance games where you didn't need the mat, where you actually just moved your whole body. And so like there was the Just Dance with the Wii, with the with the remotes. And then Xbox had like the Kinect where you didn't even need remotes. I think it tracked your whole body, um, which were fun in their own way. But like, I don't know, there's just something about the classic DDR mashing the arrows on a mat with your feet that was really cool and I kind of miss. My friend has one of those PS2 floor mats. Oh, they're so fun. And you could even play co-op because like if you had a friend that also had a mat, they could plug it in to your PlayStation as well because I had a cousin that also had her own floor mat. So she would come over and bring her floor mat and we could play together. And we'd plug both mats into my PS2. So it was so sick. I want a Quest VR headset to have some sort of exercise that's actually fun. Oh my gosh, yes. With the VR headsets, the Beat Saber. That game looks super fun and it looks like a great exercise game. Yeah, they're super expensive though. They're like painfully expensive, so I feel that. <laughs> Beat Saber can get pretty spicy. Yeah, oh my gosh. I've seen people play it and I know it's just like the arms, but it really has you moving your whole body. And then you could do all sorts of songs. I'm sure now they have like an extensive library and it just looks so fun. And in VR, that adds a whole other level of immersion. I think that's so cool. I'm sorry, I'm also munching on M&Ms if you guys hear crunching. <laughs> I need my chocolate fix before we game. Kitten, hello, hello, welcome in. Hope you're having a good Saturday. The quest looks sick with how you can have just a virtual screen in front of you and watch YouTube while walking around. That's wild. What if I like ran into things though? Like what if I got so distracted? I'm watching a video that I would run into shit. I think that's a little dangerous, but <laughs> very cool. Maybe I would use that to like lay down in bed and watch a video. Or maybe do chores in the house. Some safe area. <laughs> It's a shoulder and forearm killer for sure. Oh my gosh, but it's so much better than doing like other arm exercises, <laughs> you know? It's so much more fun. It would definitely keep my attention more so than just like the gym. My friend has worked for a VR game company for two years now and I still haven't had a chance to play it since I don't have the tech. Oh no! Yeah, it's super expensive and now there's like so many options. I know there's like the quest. I think there's another one, what's it called, the Oculus? I actually have the PlayStation VR, and they're even, they even, they're coming out with the, or they already came out with the v PS VR 2. I did manage to get the PlayStation VR, so I guess I, I could get Beat Saber on the PlayStation. Do they have it on PlayStation? I don't remember. But... I found that I would get really nauseous. I think the only games I had for it were kind of scary games. <laughs> Maybe I should have tried more chill things, more chill immersions. Aside from sore feet, I'm good. Oh, good! I feel you on that, though. I'm very sore from all the furniture moving today. <laughs> the quest is great for its AR features because you can still see everything around you. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't know that it had that. I don't, that's super cool. I would love to try that. I don't think I would ever want to buy one outright because like how often am I really going to use that but trying it like maybe they have it at a Best Buy or something that I could try I don't know <laughs> back in the day I was getting into the competitive Beat Saber scene really oh my gosh I had no idea that existed so how does what does that entail like are you competing for the highest scores on certain songs 
That sounds tough. You gotta get like combos and not miss any of the beats. Oh, the quest three. Your friend has a quest three dev kit. Wow, wait, there's already been three of them. This is wild. They're advancing VR technology so quickly, but it's so cool because there's so many like really fun experiences you could have. My friend actually got his job because the owner of the VR company liked his custom Beat Saber maps. What? That's huge. Hey, that is an excellent story. Just goes to show sometimes when you do stuff like modding or fan projects online, you could use that for a resume or it could get you noticed, you know? That's amazing. Yeah, I was wondering if there were, I know people do custom maps. I wonder if there was modding for songs and stuff. I know that they do have a lot of DLC that you have to pay for if you want certain song packs. Beat Saber kind of sounds like it could be a money sink if you want to buy a bunch of song packs. It reminds me of like the Ring Fit adventure. I actually got the Ring Fit for the Switch because I wanted to try to get into exercising or at least doing some sort of physical activity. But I was like, man, the only way I'm going to trick myself into doing that is if it's in the form of a video game. And not gonna lie, it kind of worked because for a good like two or three months, I stuck with doing it like every day. Um, but then I started working and <laughs> I couldn't keep up with it. So I, I gave up again, but a ring fit definitely was like the first game slash exercise thing that kept my attention for the longest. And I, I mean, I still would like to go back to it someday. I just don't ever have the time to like play a session. I got really far too. I like leveled myself up to 100. Now if I want to go back, I'm going to have to start all over because there's no way that I'll be able to do some of the advanced exercises that I unlocked. But it was fun. I mean, it was fun in the way that you kind of like hated it, but you always kept coming back to it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if that makes sense. Every song is worth a certain amount of points and your rank is determined by your 30 highest scoring songs. Oh! Well, so you could try to- you could maybe pick songs that you're good at and get, like, the best scores on. Oh, but you said every song is worth a certain amount of points. Oh, I see. Damn, that's tough. Could be more or less than 30, not too sure. That's a lot. And whenever I come in late, I ask myself, is she still gonna be in just chatting? It's often yes. Hey, listen! In my defense, I started late today. I started at, like, 8.30. So it's not like we've been here for a whole hour just chatting. It's only been, like, 20 minutes. And I'm using this opportunity to eat some M&Ms uh, before I start gaming, because I need two hands to game with the mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Supernatural is the name of the game he designs maps for. Not connected to the TV show. <laughs> That's so cool, though. That's so sick. We still have like 40 minutes of schedule just chatting time. No! No, we do not. No, like I said, I, I don't have too much to announce or anything. I just wanted to give my explanation for why I was a little late. And then we had a little fun conversation about VR. You know, now that you guys mention it, I wonder if I can get my PlayStation VR hooked up <sighs> via capture card and I could do a VR stream. Maybe, right? That, that, that's, that has to be a thing, because... The, the PlayStation VR hooks up to the PlayStation, and so I would just need to get the PlayStation connected with the capture card. But then... Wait, so I think I kind of have space. I don't know. I think about it. I don't even- I don't know- I forgot what games I have. I don't know if there's anything worth streaming for, like... A stream. <laughs> Maybe I could get Beat Saber. Maybe we could do a Beat Saber stream. I think that should be available on PlayStation VR. Beat Saber scoring is weird too. Are they super picky about how you like get points if you don't hit the notes? You could hit every note and still only get 30%? What? Nah, that sounds like they're cheating you. What the fuck? Um, I would definitely be super mad about that. <laughs> Because that sounds like you're being cheap. Alright. <clears throat> this is so weird. Everything's on the opposite side. I'm struggling. 
Why are you still doing beam on the op? Okay. I think she's good to rest there. Move all of this over here. Close that. And let's start getting the game open. Oh, what do I look at? What do I look at to read the chat? Oh. There it is. Okay. Even less, it goes by how big your swing is and how close to the center of the note. Whoa, that's really specific and picky. Because, in my opinion, if you even get the note, when some of them go so fast, like, that should just count. Uh, a hit is a hit. How big your swing is. Mm, that's, that's tough. What's the new outfit? This is the brand new Adventure Velvet. I debuted it on Wednesday. I did a little upgrade to Adventure Velvet because I wanted an outfit that really matched Jalal's outfit a lot better. Almost as if he has like a guild uniform um, and you know, like a logo for his guild, which is kind of like his son because that's like the pattern in his eyes. So I made this outfit, edited it with his son logo. And this is the new Adventure Velvet, and she's a permanent redeem. Because it's part of the lore. <laughs> of course she's playing Crime Simulator 277. Um, of course, because we're at a really good part in the main story quest. And so I'm intrigued about how it unfolds. My best scoring song, I only missed two notes. And had a 94. That is so stinky. I feel like that should be a 96 or above. Or like a 98. Like that should be an A+. Plus. A 94 is technically an A-. minus. That's crazy. Jalaza's son? Oh my gosh. No, the sun logo. The sun logo is like, it's in his eyes. It's on his uh, adventure outfit. So I went and put it on my adventure outfit. And it's red! Alright, hold on. Good morning, Night City! There we Yesterday's go. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy. This guy is always so enthusiastic. Can Haywood. we skip this? Thanks we to can. Unabated gang wars. Sorry, we skip that now. It's the same thing every time. I've never gotten higher than a 95, even on a super slow song. That's so crazy. I don't. That sounds so frustrating. Howdy, howdy, Damn, I, I don't know if I want to play that now. <laughs> I'd be so mad. I'd be so raged. Like, how could you give me a 94 when I hit all the notes? Except for two. Drive safe, Philby. Thank you, kitten. I will do my best. Uh, but I make no promises. <laughs> my Beat Saber warm-up song is on... It's a six-minute song. It's on Hard Expert. That sounds hard. She will not. <laughs> Panda like the narrator. She proceeded to not drive safely. DC Project Red is the worst for unstoppable shit. You mean CD Project Red? I mean you mean CD Project Red. <laughs> Skeet, thank you for the lurk. I hope you have a good lurk. Unskippable. Oh. No, uh, this stuff is is skippable. Um, I think it loads for like five seconds and then you can skip it. It's like a little bit of a loading screen, but you can skip it as soon as it's ready. I believe in her, kitten. Thank you. I'll be lurking while I get my destiny grind on, so have a great stream. Good luck with the destiny, Darum. Thank you for the lurk. I hope you have a great night. Which is probably a reason why it's called hard. Yeah, I would probably play on just like a, a normal mode then. Like, baby mode. <laughs> I don't need that kind of rage. That kind of extra rage in my life. As her lawyer, I do not. This pile of traffic tickets proves she's not to be trusted. Oh my gosh. Autocorrect is fucking me today? Yeah. You were struggling. 
She's learning the whole kitten. Kitten trying so hard to like excuse my bad driving. I so appreciate it. Thank you for being in my corner. Okay, I have to fix my chair. This is so weird. I'm not used to being like this. Oh my god. Okay. Ah! Okay. Okay. Can we see? Can we hear? I think we're all good now. I'm getting a call? Can you talk? I just started. Anything important? What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. Okay. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Uh, why the mystery? Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Konpiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. If you have little hope that he's going to be convinced, then why are we going to meet with him? Um, there's only one default song I couldn't beat on Expert Plus back then. Okay, well that's Expert Plus. You gotta cut yourself some slack there. <laughs> that sounds like the hardest level. Hardest mode. She needs to apply what she's learned. Um, what if I haven't learned anything though? <laughs> now I bet there's newer, harder songs. Oh, for sure. And especially maybe some of the, like, the modding community has made some custom songs that are super crazy. I think a lot of people get a kick out of that. And I'm worse. No, you just need some more practice again. I'm sure it's like muscle memory. Val Fable's drawing my new outfit. I'm so freaking excited for it. Oh, wait, that is so exciting. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Uh, also, um, Fable MVP so talented. What the heck? <laughs> I still believe I'm the 1%. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Kitten's belief in me is going to pull me through this stream. God, Panda. Panda, I, I get it. I understand. Star Wars Frog, hello, hello, welcome in. I'm doing good. Hope you're having a good day. I'm in your time zone now. <gasps> EST gang, let's go. The superior time zone. Uh, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> time zones are time zones. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? You trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Star Wars yes, Rob, thank you for the I follow. Welcome to Velvet's Castle. East Coast, Best Coast, hey, that's right. I'm two hours behind you guys. Is it two or one? I think it's one. CST is one hour behind, and then PST, <clears throat> I know, is three hours behind. And then I know there's another time zone. There's, like, mountain or something. I don't know what mountain... I don't know what the mountain time zone difference is. <laughs> mountain is two hours? Oh, okay, okay. So it's, like, the further west you go, the hours are, like, by one, I think. Time zones are dumb. I have to use them at work all the time. I'm, I'm, that's, I'm like, I've gotten a little better with them because of that, but they're still difficult. It's eight. Oh, okay, okay. An hour. They were made by big business to sell clocks and watches. <laughs> oh, gosh, the conspiracy theories. 4 a.m. in Finland. Oh, my gosh, that's wild. It's almost daylight. I'm real close to central. Oh, wow. I know there's some people that live, like, right on time zone borders. Like, there's a girl I work with that lives in an area where she said that she's, like, right on one of the time zone lines. And, like, her kitchen is technically a different time zone. Because it's over the line. Versus, like, the other rooms in her house. And I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. Like, I she obviously they decide, you know, I guess which time zone to be in, but technically that one part of the house crosses the line. 
<laughs> I'm like, what is that? Like time traveling? <laughs> it isn't too far from the actual truth, TBH. Oh my gosh. You're not wrong. It's 905 for me. EST, let's go. How's the future? Well, it's just a lot darker because it's uh, later in the night. <laughs> Oh, I ain't that close, but I'm like 30 minutes away. Maybe 45. Oh, I see, I see. They actually established time zones to keep the railroads on time and to create a reliable schedule so big business can make more money. True. And then the whole daylight savings time thing, I think it was initially for farmers so that when they got up in the morning to do farm work, there was daylight and, and whatnot. Well, like now, I don't think they need that anymore. And yet we still keep switching our clocks every six months or so. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Although we did just get an hour, so I'm okay with that one. But it's when we lose an hour that I cry. <laughs> so true. <laughs> also a little goofy, but if I go one and a half hours straight south, I go to central. Oh my gosh! All the time zones. So close. I miss being 13 hours ahead in the future. I miss Japan. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally a whole other day ahead. Half a day. EST is a scam now. It is! Uh, it is a scam. I feel like... I, I know they're trying to work on getting it, like, stopped. But for some reason, nobody is agreeing on it. Oh, thank you, Star Wars. I appreciate it. Border is wiggly. True. I swear someone on the Nikkei game team likes Finland. Oh, really? That game is, uh, got some pretty art, if I do say so. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. <gasps> Japan Town! I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Well, 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 we're going on a trip. Oh, but this is what I remember. Okay, so. For a summary of what happened last time on Velvet's playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077. So, as you may or may not remember, we have some sort of chip in our brain <clears throat> that will kill us eventually. And it also has this, uh, the consciousness of a terrorist on it, aka Johnny Silverhand. Um, so we both may die soon. So we're kind of scrambling to look for a solution on how to save ourselves. Um, Takamura knows we have this ship in our head, and sure, he's concerned about us potentially dying, but more so, we are the only ones left alive that witnessed, um, his boss be murdered by his son. So Takamura wants us to be able to, like, prove that and bring that son to justice. So he's helping us try and find ways to save us from dying to the chip, only because he's got other motives. Um, so in the last stream when we did main story quests, we were trying to track down this woman named Evelyn Parker, who was originally the lady that gave us info on the heist to get the chip in the first place. So we're hoping that she has information on this chip that could now save us. Um, and Takamura is also trying to find people that might know about the chip, so that we could save ourselves from dying. So he's got his own leads, and I've got my own. And we're kind of just pulling at strings here. No, no, not pulling. We're grasping for straws here. <laughs> so that we don't die. That is very interesting. I don't care what time they choose to keep, but I just don't want to change clocks for no real reason. Yeah, me too. Like, I want us to stick to one, and that's it. Like, the fact that we even choose to change times just proves that like time is an illusion right because if we could just change it so easily then what's to say that it's even real our government is just so inefficient and literally can't do anything shrug yeah well they can't more like they can't agree on anything because there's lots of people that do want this to be like to not have to practice it anymore but there's also people that for whatever reason still want to follow the daylight savings it's crazy to me well, what do I know? <clears throat> the next uh, Nikkei getting added is called Tove. Tove Jansen is the Finnish author, Finnish author who invented the Moomins. <gasps> oh, I know the Moomins. They're a cute little like, man. They kind of look like polar bears. I know they're not polar bears. <laughs> they're like these white little puffy creatures. They're so cute. 
Oh, that's really cute though. That's really sick. I want to go to Finland someday. Me too. I know that the like landscaping and scenery is beautiful. There's like a couple of places like Finland, Scotland. Those are on my bucket list. A couple of places over there in Europe. I also only left my state like three times in my life. Wait, no, five. Yeah, traveling more would be cool for sure. Third time, remember Velvet, small crimes are okay, but no war crimes. Don't worry. Well, you should be a little worried. <laughs> but I'll do my best. Thank you for the lurk. So, in the last stream, we did get a location on Evelyn. Um, and now we are going to go and, I guess, try and find her and see if she's there. Okay, so Takamura sent us a text message. At night, from the den located after the fifth bamboo in the hamlet, the fox goes out to hunt. He quenches his thirst at the watering hole. While waiting for your arrival, he takes shelter in the shade of the cherry blossoms. The fox is cautious. It shall emerge when it is sure that the water was not poisoned. This is like code or something? What is going on here? Fuck off, you creep! No, I'm not gonna say that. Takamura. Amateur Merc. Yes, this is Takamura. I'm using a burner via a secure connection, but I figured it would be best to use the secret code I created. I suspected it might be beyond your abilities. Meet me at the docks in Channel say, oh, Channel Street, Japantown. Come at night. If nobody has followed you, I will show myself. Oh my god, why does it have to be so mysterious? I trust this was understood. Not too complicated. I got it. See you. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Oh man, a few words. Why do I have so many text messages? Oh my god, V is so popular. <clears throat> Two of those times were not for vacation. Oh. <laughs> I've only been to Tenerife, Bulgaria, Sweden, Denmark, Estonia, and Germany, and Northern Ireland. Whoa, that's a lot of cool places, though. That was a lot of cool places. Ireland would be cool to go to as well. I'd also like to see France, Italy. I'm trying to think of others. Japan, of course. How can you not? When you're a weeb, how can you not want to go there? <clears throat> Oh, Jig Jig Street is where we're going next. It's really not that far away. But, let's call Judy. How do I call her? Judy. Here she is. Me either, Gasher. Me either. I don't... I, I've never been anywhere else. <laughs> I would love to someday, though, for sure. I have big dreams. I don't know if they'll happen, but hopefully. We're calling G. Hey. You called. <laughs> I promised I would. Oh my god, that's literally an option. I said that before I read the text. Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising the one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently, they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh shit! Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Oh no, I think she's in trouble. Heading there now to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. I wonder if Judy will show up and help. I don't know. I feel like she really cares about Evelyn, and that's why she wanted us to call her if we got any like news. So maybe Judy will be like, we will show up, you know? I'm sorry, sir. These, I believe, are fast travel points. But where's the fun in that? Let's take the bike. Let's go. We need to go to 
it's not that far away. We'll take the bike. Mm. I'm looking for clothing stores. <laughs> no, it's a lot of food and other stuff. Okay. Every time I hear fingers, I think of little fingers. I don't know which is worse. Oh my gosh. Uh, little fingers was also pretty shitty, so... <laughs> Or a little finger. Oh wait, are you are you referring to Game of Thrones? Cause I am. <laughs> but maybe you're not. <laughs> little finger was a shitty character. In Game of Thrones. Hated that guy. Not a good dude. Ooh, well look at me on my hot bike. Well, this is Jackie's bike, it's not my bike. But we, we ride it in Jackie's honor. Yeah, little finger, I guess. Yeah. He was so... What a stinky man he was. I guess he got what he deserved in the end, though, right? No spoilers, but he, he got what was coming to him. Alright. Oh my god, get off the sidewalk. <laughs> Why not salad fingers? <laughs> No, not salad fingers. Whoa, there's a big old statue over there. Oh my god, I almost crashed into that tree staring at that statue. Wait, can we go see that? We're kind of going to drive by it, are we not? Maybe we are. But yeah, it's right here. Whoa, I know our location is right here, but I want to see the statue. <gasps> Shay! Hello, hello! Oh my gosh, Shay! How are you doing? I hope you're having a good Saturday. These weak arm spaghetti, that's right! Arms are heavy. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I can't get off the bike right now? What do you mean I can't? Oh, okay, there we go. I do like spoons. <laughs> Siri should have brought a gun home. Oh my gosh. Let me- wait, let me give Shay a shout out. What the heck? Shay Bun in my chat right now. Did I do that? <laughs> yeah, I did. It's a Shay! It is! I'm having a good day, all done is sleep and lay around. Um, that sounds like the best kind of day. In my opinion. I wish I could have done that. I did a lot of physical labor. Now I'm sore. Whoa, look at this statue. It's huge. Yeah, Cloud slacking on the job. SMH my head. <laughs> what the heck? Keep moving all my stuff. I'm not used to I'm not used to sitting here with everything like this. Oh my god, okay. It is the best kind of day. It's a no bones day. Yeah. For everybody. That's why I wish weekends were three days. Because everybody needs at least one of those days to be like that. Where you literally just chill. And lounge, you know? And then the other two days you can do stuff. Like chores or whatever. You know, outings if you need them. But everybody needs one day a week to just be no bones. I went to a really big farmer's market today. <gasps> really? Did you get anything cool? Farmer's markets are fun. You can find all sorts of stuff there. My day was kind of like that too until mother brought me stuff and she found out about my new room decoration. Wait, what? Is that a good or a bad thing? Um, oh, there's... Oh! Oh, we're... Jacked and coked. Pee pee. Wow. <laughs> we are entering a, a building that says pee pee. <laughs> I mean, the E and the P are kind of fucked up, but you know, the message is still there. We're entering a shady, sussy area. I parked my motorcycle in my bedroom for the winter. Oh, <laughs> oh I can see. I can see her hesitation now. First of all, amazing that you got it in there, but uh, second of all, I understand why you would do it though, because it's, you know, really cold and 
may be snowing outside. <laughs> Mother didn't like it too much. Yeah, I could I could see why. <laughs> you got a lot of candy. Oh, I love. I kind of sad. The only candy I ever ended up getting for Halloween were like crunch bars. And that's not really candy. That's chocolate. I didn't get any like true, true candy this year. Kind of sad. I saw a post that was like, if you're care, if you're care driven, grow up. I'm hanging out driving. I'm goofing. I'm driving. I'm grabbing a bit driving. That's me right now. It's so valid. <laughs> if you're cold, they're cold. Let them in. Exactly. The bike needs to be warm for the winter too. Well, you see, in my mind, I definitely separate like, in terms of Halloween candy, I separate them into two categories of like chocolate bars and then like candy in my mind candy is like nerds or jolly ranchers or like the stuff that's hard and sugary sweet sour you know lollipops um and then because there's so many different types of chocolates i feel like that's its own category you know i know that they technically chocolate falls under candy but in my head, I separate, like, chocolate candy versus, like, other candies, you know? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> chocolate is a food group. That, too. That, too. Chocolate is just its own thing. Entirely. What about gummies? I would say gummies fall under, like, candy. Anything that's, like, you know, the, the gummy worms or the gummy bears. And, and <laughs> just, <laughs> I want to say, like, all the stuff that's really bad for you. That's like, you really should not eat this. Like, chocolate, you could kind of excuse chocolate sometimes. Chocolate is good for you in certain situations. And you can have one as a treat. But, like, all the rest of, like, the colorful candies are just sugary and not the best. I need some socks on because my feet are actually... I can destroy a bag of gummy worms. Me too. Sour gummy worms especially. So good. Joe, hello, hello, welcome in. Or peach rings. Oh, you know what? I've heard people talk really good, really highly about peach rings. I don't think I've ever had one. I imagine they're good, though. I think gummies are chocolate, Shay. That's wild. <laughs> um, Unless they're chocolate flavored, then maybe I could argue in your favor. But gummies are usually like some sort of fruit flavor. Gummy bears are good for you. They make me happy. <laughs> okay, that's also valid. But what I mean is like, in terms of their ingredients and sugar content, they're really not good for you. But yes, all, all sorts of chocolates and candies uh, make you happy. And that's so valid. Peach rings are your fave? Oh, really? I don't know if I have a fave, honestly. I don't think I could choose a fave. You need to try peach rings, Val, top tier. Oh my gosh, on it. I'll add it to my grocery list. <laughs> I kept hearing you say pea dream instead of peach rings. <laughs> oh no. I keep eating M&Ms. I know that's probably slurring my speech. I want chocolate covered gummies. Okay, let's think about that for a second though. Because like, what flavor of gummy would they be? Because then once you add chocolate, that'd be a little funky. That could be really good, though. Has anybody ever done that? Maybe. I know there are some interesting candy combinations out there. I would try it. Could be anything, I think. Oh my gosh. Because, like, chocolate-covered strawberries are amazing, right? So can you imagine a chocolate-covered strawberry gummy? That could be- that could be banging. When I was at the market, I found chocolate-covered bacon! Oh my god, I would have to have that. Bacon is so good. Bacon is so good and chocolate is so good and those- I think those flavors actually go really well together. It's, call me crazy, but that's such a good combo. You've had similar things? Ooh! Chocolate-covered strawberry gummy genius! <laughs> okay, we made it work. We made it work for sure. Crazy! I was crazy once. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, do people still do that anymore? Or is that died? <laughs> so there's more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. 
Oh. He's a man of a few words sometimes. Is that all you have to say? I like that Johnny is less of like... Oh, he's gone. Now he's become like our kind of snarky, sassy narrator. Where he just pops up and is like, well, you're, you know, fucked. And I'm like, thanks for telling us. We knew that already, but... Thank you, Captain Obvious. He chipped you for free? Fuck off! Yeah, I still say it, I don't care if it's dead. <laughs> Valid. I still say stuff too, even once it's died, because a lot of the times, by the time I figure out what the meme means, it's probably already dead. So I am already late to the game. Is that Keanu Reeves? It is! Uh, he's Johnny Silverhand in this game. He is breathtaking. He's just... Oh! <laughs> I remember that from the... Uh, he was he was talking about Cyberpunk when he said that. What do you think they sell at the PP store? <laughs> you know... I think they sell uh, if pool flo floaties. You know? Pool floaties. Like, the kind of stuff that you put on your arm. Flotation devices that you blow up. I think that's what they sell. PP. Yeah, sounds uh sounds on brand. No, it's John Wick. I mean, in certain universes, yes, but in this well, universe, well, what do we got here? fingers and MD. The thing. I really don't Looking think this guy is an MD. Just might be your man. Talk to the thugs? Do I have to though? He kind of just flirted with me like inappropriately. I don't want to. Probably poo poo pool floaties. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm thinking in my head. The PP. Do you think they take used models? <laughs> For sure. They do trade ins as well. Goes together to will. Exactly. Hmm. Wow, I could say. I have so many options here. I could be super aggressive. Oh, I pulled out. No, put it away. Put it away. We're not here to fight. I could say fuck off. I could say don't start aggressively. I could just say looking for fingers. I could be meek and say I don't want any trouble. I could be like street kid. Got a message from the tiger claws. Are these guys not tiger claws? Who are these guys? Uh, No affiliation. Okay, just thugs. Got it. I'm gonna see a movie with Norman Reedus and Keanu Reeves. It would be very epic. They are both very badass. Way, that way. I don't know what to say to this floor. man. Don't start. Sure. Got an issue needs sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get go. I was only joking. Sheesh. Fine. Let her through, sludge. Okay, that seemed to work. Yeah, don't fuck with me. We must be rent -a thugs Yeah, he kind of caved <laughs> really easily. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not that intimidating. So, he caved very easily. We are at Fingers MD. Oh, gracious creature! And, and benign! Joy toy. Under the influence of drugs. Bloody stain imbrued. It's it for a friend the king. This is kinda sad. I don't think this man is a doctor. Val saying don't fuck with me is so cute. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. Like I'm really not that intimidating. So they were really cheap renta thugs that caved super easily because there's no way that I really intimidated them. Hey, you alright? No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find them? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, all you got left are shredded cables and empty bottles. This is actually really sad. These people are probably drugged up and then used as joy toys. Cyberpunk in the last few like bits of story that we've gotten is like really sad, really serious. And I don't trust this fingers guy for sure. Hey, hands off! Take a 
scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mosque in town descends on this shithole. Um, is that Judy? I hear Judy. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Oh, that's not Judy. I was wrong. My bad. They're having a separate argument. I thought we were walking in on Judy, like trying to fight and get Evelyn back. <laughs> oh, but you do. It is a dystopian future. I know, Something but still so sad. 20, when would you trust a guy named Fingersville? <laughs> yeah, never. Never! Also, like, can we just talk about this sign right here? You know what that looks like? I'm not gonna say it, but we can all use our imaginations. V, hey. Wait, that is Judy! I was right! Hello! There's a line! Nuh uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn! Oh, they're literally waiting on him like he's a doctor. I mean, he is, I guess. But, like, not a good one. It's a rocket? <laughs> oh, Shay. Oh, Shay. That's an innocent answer. But Gasher and I believe is correct. That fully looks like a condom. <laughs> Fingers guy. You know him? Judy, my beloved. Heard some things, yeah. He did show like, up. Like, his hand sometimes slips. See, this is what's cool, like, about the choices sometimes. If we hadn't called Judy, she wouldn't be here. So we did call her, so she showed up. So now if something goes wrong, we have guy. backup, you know? Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah, I knew Judy cared about Evelyn. They're in love. Well, maybe not in love, but I, I feel like they're kind of in, in girl love with each other. <laughs> What's up with you? Surprise, Pikachu! <laughs> Shay, no! <laughs> we just rocked Shay's world right now. It's definitely a rocket! It's a penis rocket, though. Or a deflated balloon? <laughs> I mean, it does cause blast off! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Together. You're so, so right. A pocket rocket? Yeah, for sure. After the heist. Evelyn hold up you guys are too funny while, right <laughs> that's right so why the hell did she go back to clouds <sighs> thought she'd be safer there god knows why tried to get her to see straight but she wouldn't listen the mox is a gang mox don't happen to have fingers in their crosshairs no why her joy toys come out of his clinic in worse shape than they come in yeah, well, can't solve all the world's problems at once. And this world has a We're lot of problems. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. I don't have enough skill level to just force the door open. I don't have authorization. Books didn't talk to the toys optional or find a way into Finger's office. I have to talk to them because I don't have the skills. Seven out of eight for the one with the fist. What's the one with the fist? Body. Wait! I have a skill point though. I wonder if I should use it there. Get us out of this. Last time I asked someone to explore space with me, they slapped me. Maybe that's why? Oh <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Oh no, Kasserin! Sounds like bad stealth time to me, 100%. 100% because what am I gonna do? Break the door open and then fuck up the rest, right? When did I get this? Ooh, look at this fancy evening jacket. That's cute. Not what we're gonna wear, but cute. Let's talk to Judy a little bit. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Oh, we met Tom. He was like the, one of the VIP uh, dolls. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. Oh, They're so gay for each other. I love them. 
Yesterday I was given a bountiful boon. Someone gave me four bags of candy corn. Shay, are you too a fan of candy corn? <laughs> I mean, not too as in I am, but I mean, like, I know people that are. <laughs> I don't necessarily love or hate candy corn. I haven't had it in a while, so I really can't say. You have nachos? Oh, man, I want nachos. W. <laughs> She's pretty. I love Judy. I think Judy is the cyberpunk character, like, my, like, the most favorite that we've met so far. Misty is really cute, but I don't know. I guess I can't look at her as cute because I know that she was Jackie's girl, and I just feel like that's a betrayal to Jackie. So, but Judy, though. Judy. Well, Judy, I guess, is in love with Evelyn, so maybe she's also unavailable. <laughs> but I feel, I don't know. I love her. I love her. <laughs> Feels different. Candy corn is controversial, but yes, I like it. Especially candy corn pumpkins. Oh, the pumpkins are really cute, though. That's very base. It's her plush emote. Jackie would want his girl to be happy, Valve. Yeah, but she's still mourning his loss, and I would like to give her appropriate grieving time. So I'm not gonna jump into anything yet. You know who's cuter than Judy? I'm trying to come up with an answer and I can't, I'm at a loss. Candy <laughs> corn is butter flavored. Is that really it? I haven't had it in so long. I will chomp a stick of butter. You gotta tell us, you gotta compare. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Yeah, very true. Uh, Velvet? Velvet is! Oh, thank you, that's very sweet. That's who? No way. It's literally butter flavor. Okay, uh, why would you want to make a candy butter flavor? So, let's think about this for a second. I did want to up this because we got the slow health regen. Wait, do I have- I have a perk point. Let's spend it on this. We need all the health regen we can get. 1% health regen rate for each percent of missing health. Nice. Hmm. Question is, do I want to do another one to the body? I guess we do. Because that increases health. Let's let's do another one to body. Oh, I gotta press F. Alright. I forgot I didn't eat dinner yet. Oh my gosh, Tater! You better go eat something. We can force it open now. But I still kind of want to talk to the Joy Toys and see what they have to say. I was made by old people before colors and fruits were invented. <laughs> That's such a roast, but makes sense. How do I sit? Oh, okay. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here. Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Aye. Better than being a cripple. That was harsh, Judy. We could pay them to let us uh, skip, or we could say... Oh, I could bully them, but I don't really want to bully them. Do I have seven... Do I have seven of that? That I could say that? I don't even know what that is. I do have seven! I could use my cool points. Should we use my cool points? Let's let's try. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Uh, uh, <laughs> Judy's course. faking it. Honey, be my guest. Well, now, hold on, hold on a sec. They didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside mostly. Now try to open those luscious lips of yours. Come on, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, they were really nice. I, I feel bad. I think it only shows you the traits Wait, you have. Oh, okay, that's good. So anytime I see one when I'm talking to people, I can Base use one. I just, I know, like, now I know that when I see the symbols, those are traits. I just don't know the names of the traits and the symbols. I think he's done. We going in? Your eyes oh my god, we're going in. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? This man is a doctor and this is how he's dressed? Alright, I'm not gonna judge because we need info from him, but... This is sketchy! Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours. There's Days. just blood on the floor. But I'm busy right now. That is an ominous looking you chair. Tiger claws? Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mox. The mox? Why, Why does he keep you say so? What is it in the bottle that he keeps pumping? So, what brings you here? Okay, see, we have a four out of six here. So we can't say it. Let's ask him other things. How did you help the working girls around here? Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please. Scrapyards offer better quality than this. Judy, you're not wrong, but we really can't upset the man when we need information from him. Please, chill. For a guy named Fingers, he doesn't have many fingers, just the normal amount. I know, I'm a little disappointed. He kind of just looks, you know, normal. <laughs> to some extent. Forget why we're here? Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Oh, shit. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. He's so gross to me. So I can't creepy. remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as exquisite as you. What Please the fuck? Please set your exquisite derrieres down. Oh, he's being weird. He's being weird. I think he knows exactly who we're talking about, but he's going to try and extort us. I don't know. He's going to make us do weird shit before he tells us anything, because he knows it's probably important. He's more nails than fingers? True. He keeps them super long, which, like, normally I'd be like, yes, kill it. But, like, as a doctor, I don't know if you can have nails that long. How do you really operate on somebody when well, your nails are that long? Come on. Why does he have to rub his thighs while he's saying that? I know! He's giving off such creep vibes. Ugh, I don't- I hate him. I hate him. We could punch him, better start remembering or else, or we could sit. And threaten him. Oh gosh. Can't speak or Wind Shittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really. You're a doctor, I'd though. Love to help, Couldn't you fix that? If only I knew who you were talking about. Hold on, give him a chance. Maybe he's just a little socially awkward. <laughs> I guess maybe. Perhaps Forget why we're here. the face is so punchable. I know. I would love to do a very chaotic playthrough where you choose like all those kind of aggressive options. But right now, I'm a little scared. <laughs> um, well, should we threaten him on. with the mocks? I don't know. Let's do the check your logs. Name Forest. Let's try that. Forest. Name mean anything to you? No. Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Yeah, we beat him up. I'm asking the questions? No, well, let's use my cool points. Didn't like Woodman's tone. 
Actually, we killed one of them. So I made sure he'll have a tough time speaking for a while. Not too fond of you either right about now. So careful what you say. Damn. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Gee, whose fault is that? I mean, you could be fixing it up with the money you earn, right? From fixing people? Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. She was hacked and... Get to the point! The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. I'm about to punch him, though, because he's not giving us any answers. I'm a hair away from putting you down? I'm not telling Judy to calm down. She's so in her right here. We're gonna say, we're gonna say don't talk to her that way. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me. Look. The quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Why is he avoiding no. this? Evelyn Parker. Where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. <laughs> Let's punch him. Oh my gosh. Nick, if I get the option again, I'm punching him because he's being useless. Something wrong? What do you mean by underground? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. He does, though. He's so lying. You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised so to send each here. other postcards gonna get a lot more than insults if you don't talk i know I'm gonna get beat up where will we find her how many times do i have to repeat myself i, I don't know i i did what anyone in my place would do when i realized i wouldn't be able to help her patch her up i called my fixer two guys came and picked her up the same day oh no Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? We're Kako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. Oh, they can smell you pathetic. We know Wakako, though, I think. We we interacted with her earlier in the game. What are we trying to find? We're trying Forget to find Evelyn. These guys, what did they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Oh, really? he's so no, stupid. They look like you. They looked like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they'd take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. A moth? But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Yes, Judy, get him, Queen. Should have been harder. <laughs> I should have punched yeah. him. Wait. I'll be outside. I no, I have an option to punch him. 
I could say she's just upset. Judy's right. Nah, we should punch this guy, right? I feel like he deserves a punch in the face. Right? I said if I got the option again, I would do it. And here it is, staring me in the face. I mean, at this point, he's already given us probably all the information he probably has. So we're kind of on our own from here on out. Descriptive. Let the demons win. I'm gonna let the demons win. We're gonna punch him. He deserves it, stinker. Oh my god. Oh! Did we kill him? No, we didn't one punch this man, did we? <laughs> There's no way. He'll be fine, right? <laughs> Will he be fine later? Wait, wait, can I do a body scan? His name is Finn Gerstat. Uh, he's wanted in Night City for the distribution of illegal cyberware, forgery, and stalking! Oh, this fucking asshole. Can we kill him? One punch! <laughs> I think he's dead! I think he's dead too! <laughs> I didn't mean to kill him. I didn't mean to kill him, but... I mean, he's an asshole, so fuck him. A club! Let's take it! New item received. We're gonna loot his shit now. Because, uh, I have a feeling that he's not gonna need it anymore. <laughs> oh shit, I don't need to look in the mirror. Smile! <laughs> oh god. Poor V. Poor V. Stop looking. That much blood is it normal? Yeah, I think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's dead. But you know, he was a sleaze, so I don't I don't feel too bad. Why who has just a bot? Oh, who has a <sighs> We can pick this up? What? Studded dildo for when you have that special itch. Ew. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna loot it. Well, you know, the sound alerts worked at the beginning of stream. At the beginning of stream, Jalal played a sound and it worked. Give me a second. Creepy smile, true. Cloud broke them, actually, because when Jalal used it earlier, it worked, so it's Cloud's fault. <laughs> it's Cloud's fault. Let's try this again. Never know when you need a toy. <laughs> I know, right? No, but we're gonna sell it. I don't want this creepy dude's toy in my inventory. It looked more like a butt plug to me. Okay, me too! I can't believe- I was gonna say, I'm like, that's a butt plug. But then I read the description and it said dildo and I'm like, um... That's not what they usually look like. Let me try. Nothing. Nothing. What the fuck happened between now and, and the end of stream? Or the beginning of stream? Oh man. Property. Positive. Cam. We got a number one victory. I fixed oh, yeah. it. Yeah, Cloud broke them. Get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just gone down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park streets. Look at the map. Go to the mark sheet. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today. All is well. <laughs> All fixed. It worked! It did! I did nothing? <laughs> it worked first try, totally. Totally! Totally first try. <laughs> okay, uh, anything else on the floor that we could steal? I mean, it's not stealing, it's, uh, it's just, uh, it's looting! He's not gonna need it anymore. I think that's it for this dude. Yeah. 
You got a cool TV. Can we go through his computer? Oh my god, we could go through his computer. Any more toys to steal from Creepy McFingers? I don't know, but I'm searching. Gosh, can you imagine this guy's internet history? Actually, do we really want to know? Do we really want to know? Fingers MD, clinic, med bay repair. Services. Something broken, hears creak and sparks fly when they shouldn't. Don't worry, Dr. Fingers will take care of it. I offer comprehensive care options for implant repair. I can fix everything. And if something is really elder that's use, I can find you a low-cost alternative. Anesthesia charged extra? So if you don't want to feel pain, you have to pay extra? After a few moments on my operating table, you'll go from being a lackluster nobody to an irresistible sex kitten. Trust me, I'm a professional. This guy deserved to be killed. I'm not gonna lie. About me. Oh my god. Born and raised in Japantown. Ba -ba -ba. He keeps, he always like, it's always like, trust me. Just trust me. Dr. Fingers is now the name of the demon who lives in my closet. Oh no! Your sleep paralysis demon. Technically, it's an extra charge IRL too. It's just not an option. Okay, yeah, you know, you're right. That's fair. Sephiroth, thank you for the eyes rate. I hope you're having a good day. Hello, hello. Mm. Thank you, thank you. I don't think I hydrated enough today. You guys are very helping me. He's got appointments. Tits exchange? Tits reduction? Oh my god. Spinal fluid replacement? A vaginoplasty? Penis enlargement? A tits enlargement? Whoa. That's crazy. Oh, I can hack in his computer. Oh, I'm sorry, I yawned. I still don't understand how to do these puzzles with the hacking. I'm not going to lie. See, I fuck up the last one. I failed. <laughs> Not a good good Yelp score. <laughs> That's a search history. I believe it. I so believe it. Wait, let me go back. I want to look at his shit. I almost had that. I wonder if I can hack him. These are normal procedures, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just, I'm just still in awe. Am I? How did I get to it the first time? It's kind of in a weird position on the desk. And I can't push the chair out of the way. Put away the weapon, V! How did I get into the computer the first time? Oh, there we go. He has files. Today's schedule? We read the schedule. Contacts. Baby face. Uh, frequent no show. Never pays on time. Hard driver. Pays in kind. Candy. Rude. Loudmouth. Bitch. Oh god. Carry. Not bad looking. I'll be it taken. Can't turn her around. Oh god. Boring. Usually has nothing to say. Flat ass. Pays in kind. Oh my god. Muffin. Incredible piece of ass. 10 out of 10. Rarely says no. <gasps> this is so sick. The dude. Pays in kind, but he's a psycho. <laughs> oh! Velvet! There's a velvet! Erica Grant. Not bad. 7 out of 10. Usually pays. That's one procedure. What? <laughs> 7 out of 10! <laughs> Fuck 
this dude. Fuck him. How dare he? I would never come see him. <laughs> oh my god. Fingers MD doxing Belvin. Fuck this guy. This is fake. Fake review. <laughs> yeah, we're breaking the computer after this. Fuck him. Messages. Hey, beautiful. From Golden Fingers to Candace Sweet. I saw your profile and just had to ask. Do you have a band-aid? I got so weak in the knees at the sight of you that I fell. Oh, that's so cringe. Hi, nice to... Oh, wait, I scrolled too far. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm glad you liked my still. What do you do for a living? Um, I take care of beautiful girls like you. I'd love to have you on my operating table sometime. You'll see why they call me Fingers. You live in Westbrook, right? Where can we meet up? Ew! Why aren't you answering? <laughs> She ghosted him after that. Yeah, because it's fucking weird what she said. Well, it's only 7 out of 20. Oh no, 7 out of 10. Fake review, fake news. I know. Burn his establishment to the ground. <laughs> we're, we're fucking all his shit up. See, now I don't feel so bad about looting his shit because he obviously deserves it. Oh my god, I just can't believe. I just cannot believe. The audacity of this fake doctor to write a bad review on me! Does he not know I'm the queen? I'll fuck him up. I'll behead him. Uh, from the woodman. Oh, these are the emails we saw on the other guy's computer. The Evelyn exchange. Okay, uh, we saw his files. Net. Yeah. We saw his shit. I wanna- I wanna hack the computer, possibly. Go check real- Wait, can you punch him again? Go check real quick! <laughs> nah, I think he's dead dead. This guy deserves to be punched to death and have his butt plug stolen. It's a good thing that's exactly what we did. Okay, I really wanna understand this hacking at some point because I know I can get stuff from this. I can gain access to encrypted data. Okay, this is... Okay, 55. And then we do IC. And then we do E9. No, we have to start from here. We'd start... There's two 55s. 55. There's an IC. There's an E9. And a BD. Let me let's start from this one. Oh wait, what is uh you need a You need a cool other jacket with a neon art a demon in the back? Oh <gasps> that'd be sick. I you know I do have that one model that has a leather jacket. We could put a neon daemon in the back, but you know, we just never see the back. You know, we wouldn't see it. That'd be sick though. You showed him, Vel? I did. He's a stinker. It goes horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal. Okay, wait, so that's horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal. Maybe I'll try it this way then. Also, Mr. Dark Pie. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Or denim. Uh, I prefer leather. Micro Velvet Edition. Yeah, that'd be sick. So. 55. I see. Oh no, uh, I fucked it up already. Because I can only choose another IC. Yeah, I fucked it up. Wait, 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 wait. Let's try again. Let's try again. I've never successfully done one of these. I don't know how many chances I get before they <laughs> inject me, but... See, I always fuck up one. Sometimes you don't need to start with the first one. But, oh, well, because, oh, I do have two extra spaces, huh? 
But then as soon as I click the wrong one, it exits me. I know they gave me like explanations on how to solve this, and I did a tutorial way back when I started. And I did the tutorial, but ever since, I've never done one of these successfully. So... The third one? Okay, let's see. Whoa, we did it. Wait, what do I actually get out of this? Oh my god. <laughs> I was so quiet. Did you hear the gears turning in my brain? Gain access to encrypted data. All daemons uploaded. Um, so that was it? Exit? Also, Mr. Dark Pride, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Stormfist, hello, hello, welcome in. GG's, thank you, Gasherin. What did I get from that, though? I exit. Guest one, username, password. Oh, I don't have his password. Admin panel. Oh, wait a minute. I could clear data, I could clear schedule, help. Fingers, this is the last time I help your gonk skinny ass. If it takes printing every single file and pinning it up on the wall so you don't wipe your entire hard drive without backing up first, then do that instead of calling me. That shithole you call a clinic could use some decoration on the walls anyway. Love, M. Well, you know what? We could wipe all his data. We deleted 36,021 files. Clear his schedule. 24,213 files removed. Okay, but what does that serve me? So now if I go look, there's nothing? But there's not. My fucking bad review is still there! I wanted to wipe my bad review from his computer! Cringe. Oh, that's not how you go back. Alright. I'm done with this dude in his office. Let's get out of here. Let's talk to Judy. She's angry. Rightfully so. Oh man, I hate to break it to you guys, but I killed him. I killed him. You're gonna be waiting here for a while. Uh, you guys are gonna be waiting here for a while because he's dead now. I'm so I feel so bad because they kind of they were really nice. You know, they let me cut in front of them. What is this? Oh, this is his uh, this is his computer again. Yeah, we did perform justice today. Let's go find you. Go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry, we'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. Want to give up now? No. Only Lee, we got an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. <laughs> well, I mean, if we don't have optimism in this moment, we can't just assume she's dead. That's the worst. Death's head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. It makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction in one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. No, they are not supposed to be unavailable. What happened was, on Wednesday's stream, which was a vampire game night What's with Jalal, with I made them all unavailable because I wanted to just wear um, Adventure Velvet. 
And so I have forgotten to undo that since Wednesday because again, like I said, I kind of just came to my computer literally with seconds to spare before stream starting. And I was starting late because of uh, the furniture move. Yeah, Cloud constantly likes to call me out when I do things wrong. <laughs> so, thank you, Cloud. Uh, I will fix that now. <clears throat> I will fix it. I for gore. Uh, Slither Adventure. What's up with you? Nightcrawler. Cyberpunk. Okay. Wait. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah, those are the ones I want to unpause. Okay. There we go. They should be fixed now. That was from Wednesday, my bad. And I need to fix that now. Furniture move? Yeah, I said at the beginning of the stream that I had to move my desk to a different side of the room. Because the floor, uh, where I had my desk was uneven, so my chair was constantly uneven, and it was killing my back. And my only option was either to move the furniture, or we to fix the floor, which would have been a whole thing with, like, maybe cement and trying to level out the floor. And I'm not handy like that, so it was better if I just caved and moved the furniture. So... It's been- it took all day, and we literally, like, I had just finished, and then was showering and washing my hair, and then had to run to stream, and I was already late. So I was, like, not even convinced that I plugged everything in back correctly. So I was like, if something is broken during stream, uh, I guess we'll find out the hard way. <laughs> but so far, everything's been good. So, yeah. I, I really didn't have much time to prepare before stream today, as I normally would. But I believe everything is fixed now, so that is better. <laughs> poor Cloud! Oh, poor me! Cloud always calls me out on stuff that I may or may not have broken or done wrong live on What's stream. And I feel bad about it. <laughs> Good move to move. Yeah, no, I was killing my back. But I was being stubborn because I didn't want to move the furniture. Because I liked the way it was. But I didn't anticipate that the floor was uneven there. I didn't know. Because I've never had a chair over there. I found that the hard way. So I had to finally cave and say, you know what? I'm going to have to move everything because I was killing myself. Who would ever call out Velvy? Damn. Says, <laughs> says the person that calls me out every time I do a typo anywhere ever. <laughs> It's so funny that this is the time you choose to chime in. <laughs> oh my god. I'm crying. <laughs> two, two minds think alike. <laughs> Should call me over, I'd help move. No, it's okay. I mean, it wasn't too bad. It was just it, my bed it. and the desk flipping their positions. Um, it was, It's all done now. We'll see. I'm just so not used to where everything is. I feel weird still. I feel like I still feel crooked, but I don't know if it's because I was just so used to how it was before. That now I just don't know how to get used to this. I don't know. I'm feeling weird. Feeling weird! Not me, I would never. Oh my gosh, solvent. <laughs> totally, totally not. Oh, I need this conversation to hurry up and end because I really have to pee. <laughs> Judy, please, I need a pee break. Okay, let's continue talking to her. Everyone, everything leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. That's Judy. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a oh, domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Okay, see, we knew you were gonna have a plan, Judy. You're so smart. Love you, Judy. Now, you see, if we hadn't called Judy and let her know about Evelyn, I wonder how this quest would have played out. 
without Judy, like, we wouldn't be getting this far, you know? I hate the feeling after things get moved. Me too! I I know I'll settle in eventually, but right now I feel very What's off. Up with you? I was uncomfortable before, but, like, I got used to the uncomfortableness. And right now, I'm like, I know it's more comfortable, but I'm uncomfortable just because everything is in a different position and it's new. I'm sure I'll get used to it in a couple of days, but, like, it's going to be rough breaking it in. <laughs> Are you sure your mods have your best interest in heart? They get it together. I know it doesn't look that way, but I know that they do. <laughs> that is, a, as they say, the typical mod streamer relationship, right? The back and forth, uh... Relentless teasing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm crying. They have my best interest at heart where it matters. Everything else is fair game. Do we give the dark net a shot or do we say I know a local fixer? What, Victor? Victor? I think I'll try calling Wakako. No, Wakako, we know her. Mentioned. Yeah. Thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. <sighs> okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze. Play detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. She came in a van? Damn. She came prepared. Bubble gum. Call Wakako or visit her on Jig Jig Street. I feel like it's much better to visit her in person. Because if she sees me face to face, you know, maybe she would be more inclined to spill some tea. Also, if we need to punch her, we can punch her. Can't really do that over the phone, you know? <laughs> <gasps> Mojito, hello, hello, welcome in. Uh, hope we're having a good day. Welcome to stream. Okay. Um, uh, this is a good time for me to take a little potty break. I gotta go peep. Right? Is it safe outside? Kind of, sort of. I gotta take a quick bathroom break. Chat. I will be right back. This is a good time if you would also like to take a bathroom break or stretch, grab a snack, get comfy. I will be RB in like five minutes. Oh gosh, where is it? I'm so not used to where all the screens are. I'm dying here. <laughs> I'll be RB, guys.
return. I'm back from the bathroom. I'm back! Let me get everything pulled up here. <clears throat> Hello! Welcome back, thank you, Gashroom. Hello, Mojito! <laughs> ah! Yes, yes. I'm here. Oh, I should unpin that now. Hold on. Um. Unpin. 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 Unpin! Okay. <laughs> um, unpinned. Where's my little chat? There it is, okay. There it is. Alright. We're back. So, now we... Oh, okay, I said we are going to go physically see Wakako because, you know, we need to shake her down. It's best to do that in person, am I right? We can do a little shaking down. See how far away she is. Oh, she's like within walking distance. We won't... We don't need the motorcycle for this. She's right there. So, is this Tiger Claw area? Hmm. I think it is. All the guys with the yellow arrow above their head potentially could turn on us, so we gotta be careful. Not to start any accidental disturbances in the street. No fighting, no violence. The Pachinko Parlor. I remember, yeah, we've, we've been here before. No. I kind of forgot, not gonna lie, what we came here for once before, but we've been here and we've met with- Oh, look! Cloud, are you in the chat right now? Because look, this is the little Witcher Easter egg that is in Cyberpunk. They have these arcade machines. And this one is called Roach Race. Like Roach, the horse, Geralt's horse. And it's actually a playable mini game. It's super cute. There's a little pixel Geralt too. If Cloud is not in chat right now, I'm gonna fight because <laughs> every time I want to show him this, he's not around. R.I.P. Well, I'll let it be known that it was it was here. Okay, okay. <laughs> here, I'll I'll play a little round. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. It's so cute. There's a little Geralt, a little Roach. Oh, let me remember the buttons. Up and down is basically all I need to know. Alright. We start. Oh shit. I forgot how high Roach could jump, actually. I have to avoid obstacles. Ah! Ah! He's moving so fast. No! Okay, I didn't mean to die that soon, but you know, you get the gist of it now. <laughs> That's really cute. It's a whole little mini game. A little Witcher mini game in Cyberpunk. She's got hops until I killed her. <laughs> Look, Jackie had the number 8th high score. Oh, my boy. R.I.P. Your name will live on forever in the Roach Race game. Okay, we can exit. There's also one of these in uh, the bar that Jackie, his wake was in. Hello, you wanted to talk? Yes, ma'am. How's things, Waco? This a prelude to whatever illegal favor you're about to ask me? No. What? Never. In that case, they couldn't be better. Kind of you to ask. And you? Yeah, I forgot about her too. I actually forgot what we even had gotten from her originally. I think she had an, like an upgrade that we were able to collect. 
Because we did her a favor, I think. One of the quests we did early on, we had done a favor for her. And so we came and collected a reward from her. And that's how we met her, but it's been so long. Looking for a brain dance. Oh, any particular one? Logo on the casing? A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Why is that quicksand? Know who makes them? Where they scroll them. And do you know what a fixer does? Allow me to explain. Not only do I finalize transactions, I can accomplish the goddamn impossible. Which would be... Making sure the buyer, supplier, and ever neglected intermediary not only keep their heads in the games, but keep their heads, period. So don't you ever ask me who, with whom, where, when, why, or how. <laughs> I figured, but we really need to know. Can you get me one of those recordings? No, but I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. It has a Pandora's box worth of crap in sight. Try asking the owner. Thanks, Waco. Okay, so I mean, she didn't really like give us any info, but she also gave us like a little bit of a lead, perhaps. Not bad, not bad. Jalo! It's going good. We killed a man. But it's okay because he deserved it. Right, chat? We punched him to death. Let's check the map. Okay, so now we're looking for a sex shop on Jig Jig Street. We're gonna walk. Yeah, it's like right there. We're gonna pass some joy toys. You apply to Luminosity Gaming. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I'm excited for you. <laughs> Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. Oh my god. All right. When you are sky high. Moonchies. Oh my god, moonchies. Um, no, no rainbow poppers for me. Thank you. What is this? This is an internet, like a computer right here. Oh, brain dances. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're here for the sex shop, which is in big neon letters. <laughs> oh, god. oh god. I don't know if they would accept a YouTuber, but I think it'd be a cool opportunity. Oh, for sure. Won't find a better yeah, I wish you the best luck of one. all time too. I'm applying. It's okay. I understand. I understand what you uh you meant. <laughs> Wow, there's like some stuff I in didn't here. Think I came here. So I wouldn't have to. Yeah. So I can see that. we're gonna talk to the person. You chosen something. Um How can wait. I be of sex? What do they Got have? Anything that might interest me. What do you is this like an actual Oh, this is an actual store. why would you is this stuff it's all junk. Why would you buy this? Only to then sell it, because the junk is stuff that you can't do anything with. What is... They know! They have everything here! They have naughty movies and everything. I'm just... The detail that's in this game, that there's a sex shop that actually sells junk that you could buy. But junk is stuff that you can't equip or anything. You literally... The only purpose is to sell it. Why would I spend 200 euro dollars to buy junk that I will then sell probably for less? That's crazy. Well, let's just talk. Let's just check. Looking for uh, something special. A uh, brain dance to really... You mean smut? No. More hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks, and I mean peculiar. Damn, this guy doesn't even sell it. 
Well, thank you for the information, sir. For the memes about it. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, if I had enough money saved up in this game, yeah, I would do it for the memes. Alright, so we keep getting shuffled around from Got one vendor to another. Takamura sent us a text message. Vision without action is a dream. Action without vision is a nightmare. We should remember this. My god, this guy. Alright, I get it, I get it. Is it- I mean, this quest, like, can we still do it? Or is it, like, a time limit? We could do that another time. Like, Okay. Are we behaving? We are! We are! We're perusing a- uh, um... We're perusing sex shops, if that counts as behaving. <laughs> if that counts as behaving. Pretty sure Vel killed a creepy man. Yeah, okay, we committed one murder, but it was so justified. Like, I promise. You should have seen that dude. He deserved it. Cloud is not behaving. Cloud broke the sound alerts and I had to fix them. But I was. And I gotta work out, you know? <laughs> Could be something raw, untouched. Raw that guy was mean and just so creepy. If to see Whoa, the this I'll dude's hair. Betting on it. This dude's hair. What a look. How about you? You buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? What are you selling? What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know, don't need to ask. Oh, God. That's Velvet's guilty voice? That's why I don't let her talk in court? Oh, my gosh. No, I promise you, for real, for real, this dude... This dude had it coming. This dude looks like a country singer? <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I can see it. It's just got, like, the, the Farrah Fawcett hair, you know? What a throwback. Gashwin, thank you for the wrist stretch. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Um, I'm gonna pretend he didn't say that. Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Um, am I actually gonna have to pay, though? Because I need to hold on to my money. <laughs> Cloud Redeem Sweater Velvet. I bought you. Sweater Velvet. He had it coming. Is not a good defense. No, for real, for real. I thought it was free. Yeah, I don't know. I, I assume it's not going to be because we're operating on our own here. So we're going to have to, in order to look legit, we're going to have to pay for this ourselves. So it's not going to be free. But, I mean, it's worth it if we're saving Evelyn, you know? She could be in some serious trouble, so. Kind of worth it. The best things in life are not free. Unfortunately, very true. We have cool. We could try to charm him with our cool points. Where do you get your? I wonder if I question him. Is he gonna get mad? Can I ask other Where do you questions? Get these scrolls? People that make these <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution, I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. Yeah. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. Huh, <laughs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. So, yeah, let's try for the discount, fuck it. Let's try. 
How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> we tried, fine. Anything that might interest me. Oh my god, okay. Well, clearly the one with the exclamation point is the one that we're gonna probably have to buy. Uh, also, all of this stuff is considered junk. Forger, oh no. The hardest... No limb, hardcore. Oh my god. No arms, no problems. Behind the scenes. Hardest disc, deleted scenes. Acid bath. This one says XBD deep fried death's head moth. An illicit brain dance. Incompatible with your software. It's only 4,800. I mean, we have it. We'll buy it. We have to. It's part of the quest. Oh, this sounds really sad. Okay. Pleasure doing biz with you. Hope that was the right one. Meet Judy at her van. All right, let's go. Squad up. Where's Judy? She's very close. Okay, we'll walk. This guy is into some weird shit. What a, what a shady dude. How could he feel like in good conscience? No, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I ran into her. How could he be selling this stuff in good conscience, you know? I guess maybe he's desperate for money. Everybody has a story. Some people are willing to stoop to lows that are like unfathomable just so that they can survive. All right, here's Judy in the van. Hop in. Let's go, Judy's driving. Yeah, the hair is definitely he Let me get just shows prepped. how sus he is. You make sure is. the wreath snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one too. Oh shit, we're doing this right here in the van. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something. You know, it's all been accidents though. Oh god, what are we watching? Oh, I forgot that this is a whole thing that I could pause and stuff. Is this Evelyn though? Okay, let's pause for a second. The tagline to the tabletop is Welcome to the Dark Future. It's going to be messed up. Yeah. For sure. How do I do like the third person view again? Let me see. V. Editing mode's good to go. Dig around all, right. all you want. So is that Evelyn? Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Scavenger. This one we haven't seen yet, okay. Ordered recently. Wow, we really scanned a slice of pizza, but it has, I guess, relevant information. Okay, that's a dude in the chair. A scavenger who is intoxicated on steroids. Wait. Quality low. The aromas of anchovies, modified olives, and tuna proteins. Pizza from Bucca Slice. Ew. Modified? Why does the food have to be modified even? Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Lab suit. Or you scab woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XBDs? Okay. Um, let's see what else there is to scan. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Okay, so not important, I guess. We scan the lab coat, we scan the girl. What else? What else? Oh. Wait, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to unpause it. Okay, I think that's everything to scan on the visual level.
God, what are they gonna do to this guy? Pause. What Can't is this? Rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm hmm. Buck a slice. Paper cup. Coffee was cold. Buck a slice. Like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh though. So? Means someone's grabbing buck a slice regularly, which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric corp power plant located near a buck a slice. BC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice chicks out too. How can you be sure though? Damn, yeah, how did we just fucking jump to that conclusion? V is so smart. We didn't even watch the whole thing. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. There's also the audio layer. What is this? What is this? A radio in the adjacent room. Buck a slice is such a weird sounding name. Well, I'm assuming it's like a buck a slice, and that's probably why the pizza is so shitty if it's that cheap, you know? Can't be good quality at that price. Another a sound source, so adjacent room, a human. But she didn't really say anything about it. What, is, what do they do to him? He's a net runner. Damn. Well, he's dead now. Okay, I guess I guess we got everything we needed from this. I forgot how cool this was. How do I um, exit when we're ready? Here we go. Old Electric Corp power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this floor. Why would someone want bucks? They're kind of big. <laughs> yeah. They're very big and not to be trifled with. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Yes, queen. Please take me there. Oh my god! Get out. We'll meet there. No, we're riding with Judy. Let's go. I think the streets would be a lot safer if she drove us. Let's get going. On our way. Oh, we're driving with Judy. I love this. Yes, queen. Judy in her van. Can we see the back of her van? can't shake it. Got a computer. That virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then stop it. There'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. So hopefully they kept her alive to use her for something else and we can still get to her and she's alive, at least. Traumatized? Most likely. But alive, at least. Because then we could, we could save her. Judy's so hot. What the fuck? Look at her. Look at the side profile. She's killing me. Slaying. She has a tattoo on her arm that says, Underwater where thoughts can breathe easy. Wow, so real, so deep, so true, queen. Bum, bum, bum. I love the music in her car, too, the, the radio music. I don't know how far away we're going. It says I could skip the ride, but why would I skip going on a car ride with Judy? My queen. Bum 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 I thought she would have more to say though. <laughs> I thought we would have like a whole conversation while driving. 
It's okay. Judy is a lady of few words. That is a okay. We almost there though. I wish I could look at my map. Can I look at my map? Oh, I can. Okay, wait. Where are we going? Is it very far away? Because I'll skip it if she's not going to say anything else. The ride with Judy to the old power plant in Charter Hill. Judy is top waifu. Yeah, so far she's my number one. We haven't really met too many other people, I guess, though. Um, I don't know where we're going. We'll skip it, I guess. Let's let's skip it because it doesn't seem like she's gonna be saying anything else. We just are there instantly. News. A dead city livens up and here we are. Following the catastrophic use of you going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Okay, we're linking. Have a good night, Cloud. Not gonna be pretty. So, if you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. Alright, she's in, and she's all, right. all the way in. Going in. We're going in. This is not going to go well, just so y'all know. <laughs> Let's see how far out we ended up being. Can we zoom out? We were in Jig Jig Street. How do I even go and find that now? Wait a minute, like, we're in a totally new area of the map? Damn, I think we are, because I'm not even finding, like, where my apartment was. We went far. I'm glad I skipped the ride then. We would have been here for a bit. I'm gonna save. I forgot that I haven't... Oh, I can't save right now? I hope it auto-saves though, right? All right, we're going in. We're on a rescue mission. I hope we find Evelyn and I hope that we can help her. I, can for I can't force this open because I don't have enough. Can I climb over a wall? I guess not because it's got barbed wires. I don't even have enough technical ability to get in from here. What the heck? How are we getting in? Can I climb? You can't ever, you don't, they don't ever really let you climb shit in cyberpunk, I noticed. Like, this is not a kind of platforming game, which I get it, I get it. We stay on the ground, we fight it out. But how the fuck am I supposed to get in there? Oh, here we go, here we go. A little bit like of a ladder. How's my inventory doing? Oh, uh, 116 out of 200. Okay. We're, we're okay. Oh, shit. Who are these people? Scavengers. Like in the video. Mm 
murder, wanted for murder of an officer. Grab a crate and get your ass moving. It's my break. Chill. All right, enough. We've got to get in there, get and there's a camera. Get the surveillance camera. Shit. What is that? A computer. I've been shopping Chrome for I'm crouching so they don't see me. Oh shit, there's somebody right here. We are going to have to, to take him down somehow. Mm, okay, we could kill him. We could take him down non-lethally. Oh dear. I don't really want to kill him. Grab him! Wait, uh, what? Okay, well. Uh, you still alive? Yeah. I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Yeah, I do. Nobody else heard that, right? Why, why do I suck at stealth? Like, actually, though, it's not even funny anymore. Oh my god. Tintin, thank you for the hydrate. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. We jack into this? What is this? But thanks to their Suze League 2 hibernation implants, Tip the off. miners were able to survive From on Ivan to Slave for Life, someone on Jinji asked about our studio. So either we're about to get nominated for a reward or get robbed. Um, peeps are asking because we got good, 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 good shit, work. words out, and it's spread, and it was just a matter of time. If they want to the rob us, they can go ahead. I'd like to see a new colony try. on the red planet. The proposed base will be we should at least double the guards outside so we don't get people coming for autographs. Oh god. And residential. Well, that explains all the guards. Ten residential modules are already available for purchase. The gate? Should I open it for Judy? Can I open it? Yes, but can you truly put a price on your security? The surveillance. Can we turn it off? Oh, that's so sick. We can, like, look at the security cameras. Wow, this place is, like, actually covered with people. We're kind of, uh, in trouble here. Kind of in trouble. Taste the love. How do I exit the computer? I keep pressing the wrong buttons. What happens if I jack into this? Is this gonna hurt me? Oh man, I have to do one of these again? Fuck. Well, I did two of them. I got some money from that. You got your heated blanket on hot chalky. Oh my god, that sounds so comfy. That sounds super comfy. I would like some hot chalky. I actually have some. I could just make some. City Council of Night City absolved 32 corporations from their income tax obligations. Among them were Kang Tao, Arasaka, Also, wait a minute. Which which of my guns has a silencer? I think I think all of them do. Is that a surveillance camera? Catastrophic city of opportunity bill passed 99 to 1 against. We gotta. I'm worried about this one security camera over here as well. I wanna try and like hack it and turn it off or something. Oh my god, not me all tabbing out of the game. Please. Can I... Oh, did I already turn it off, though? I did through the computer. 
Actually, okay, okay. I think we're okay. I'm scared. My name is Jefferson Parada, and I approve I'm a little scared. I'm gonna fuck this up somehow, like really royally. There's two people down here. Did we loot his body? We did. We got an electric kettle, so all I do is put water in and mush a button. Oh man, electric kettles are so, so efficient and convenient. I kind of really want to get one. Because, I, I mean, I used to have a big tea phase, and I really wanted one, and I would love making tea. I don't really make it as much anymore, so it's kind of not as super useful, but I would like to get back into drinking tea. It'd be a lot healthier for me. Man, how- there's two people here. Did I just headshot him? Oh my god, there's a dude right here! Oh my god, is he coming? I really need one so I can drink more tea and kick coffee. Yeah, I actually really liked when I was having tea. It's- it's much, um, gentler on my stomach. We got the kettle for tea, but since it eats up water, it works for hot chocolate, so big W. Yeah, um, hot kettles are just so versatile. Okay, so I got them with a headshot. There's another person over here, though. They're gonna come and find a body. And there's this dude. Stop walking, stop walking, stop walking. Oh, you're fucked. Am I though? Spy, don't I am, I am. I'm fucked! Uh, no! <clears throat> okay, we don't need to use that anymore if they've seen us. So we can use the big guns. They're blowing me up! Okay, this didn't go as planned, but you know, when does it ever? I guess you're all gonna come out here, and I'm gonna finish you off here. Then that's what we're doing, apparently. That was it? No, there's definitely more people than that. It does sound very cozy. <laughs> Oh no. I almost died. I broke the camera. Fuck it. Alright. Since I alerted everyone to my presence, I'm no longer gonna be stealth. We find you one way or another. You hear? Um, I prefer you just find me so that I could finish you. Please. Pathetic. Oh, they're in the building. All right, they're gonna play hard to get. We find you one way or another. You hear? Oh, did they close that? Why did that just randomly close the shutter? That's weird. Because I didn't press anything, I swear. Oh, there's still people in the building, and I am a little scared. There's at least one more person alive because I literally hear somebody talking. But I did a good job of cleaning up a couple of them like right at the entrance. They 
kind of just walked out to me, you know? The gate is open, so Judy can get in with the van if necessary. And I believe I turned off the surveillance. Okay. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower levels. Okay, I killed another. What about the camera? Is that one on or not? I can't tell. Can we turn it off? Turn it off. Let's see if we do it. I'm not super confident in the hacking. Because I hardly do it. I think I should be able to, to turn off the camera though. Insufficient RAM available, but that's to turn it back on. I turned it off. There's a floodlight. A oh, uh, an explosive tank! Oh shit. A couple of explosive tanks. Well, that just sounds like a recipe for disaster. He says this is a hostile area. But it sounds super quiet. Like, I wonder if I've already cleared everybody out. I don't hear voices anymore. I'm 100% not sure where I'm supposed to be going either. There's a bunch of this biohazard material. She said find a way to the sub-levels. Okay, I did see stairs going down. So we will, I guess, go that way. I can't get in there. Radio. Can't get in there. Damn, I really do need to up my, uh, force levels. This I can get into. Torn fishnets. Nice. Love to see it. This was an alternate entrance from the outside as well. Okay, okay. What is this? Not a door I can open. Oops. Okay. We go down. Where was it? No, not here. I gotta go this way. Is that a camera? It's a television. Okay. I'm... Wait, what, what could possibly be seen? Oh, there's another camera? Oh shit, wait, let's get rid of that camera. Oh, not a camera, a person, a person! No, a camera, it's a camera. I'm fucked up. Turn it off. I could shoot at it and break it, but like... Might as well just turn it off, you know? So I think we get like a certain amount of sticks of RAM and certain abilities take a certain amount and then I think they reload over time because I turned off another camera for four RAM sticks but then they reload like they recharged and I had full sticks again. So I was able to turn off this camera as well. I wonder if I should still shoot it. Okay, I broke it. Hopefully that won't be an issue later. Okay, we're going down. Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Um, like she's actually physically coming? Because I would love to have backup and not go alone. I'll wait for you. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a scaredy cat. I'll wait for you, Judy, please. Please tell me you're coming. Oh, what was that? Was that me? 
lead Judy through the sub levels. Okay, so she's. Oh, there she is, Queen. Here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Queen. Squat up. Judy, you're not following me. Okay, she's so slow. Judy, what the fuck? Stay behind me. Stay close. What is this? What is this? A fuel tank! Explosive! Oh, I have a terrible feeling about this. There's so many explosives in this building. This is so bad. No entry. Well... Huh. Hear that? No. A dumpster? A gate? Another gate? What is this, like a prison cell maybe? Maybe they are keeping people here? Oh wait! I see a body there. A dead body, but a body. This is level one. What does it say? Entrance, access shard, authorization required. Okay, so we don't have authorization to use the elevator. Oh, it also says out of order, use stairs. Okay, fair enough. That shirt. I know it. It's Evelyn's? It says keep donors sedated if the property fights and add segmental or segmenial anesthesia. No cro crocody? What? Oh god, this is terrible. Evelyn's? Without a doubt. Oh my god, what have they done to her? Oh. I was hoping we could save her. A lot of blood on the floor too. I don't know what the fuck this is. It's like K R O K O L Y Crocoli Cricotti. I don't know. Not important right now, I guess. A fire extinguisher. It feels eerie that this is all empty down here when there were so many people upstairs. We don't have uh, enough med units for today's batch. Oh god, there's Relax. somebody here. We'll add RTL and the weight will be right. Who is this? Who is this? A cur, a, a scavenger, first degree murdered, stol selling stolen cyberware. There Sounds like one. two. It's like candy for grown-ups. This RTL won't make anyone foment the mouth, will it? Because it is down from the outside. Okay, sounds like two people. I think we can handle- me and Judy can totally handle them. Really think a little city sugar is going to hurt? Oh, wait a minute, are these cameras? It says turn on though, so does that mean the camera is already off? Because I turned off some cameras with the computer outside. I could shoot this guy right here and they'd be none the wiser. But I don't know where the Oh, it looks like the second person is over there. Crazy bitch! Hope you brought help. Fuck, I'm reloading! Judy, help me out here! Uh, fight! God damn you! Okay. They're dead, they're dead. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know if there's anybody else in here, but... I figured it was best to shoot first and ask questions later, you know? Oh, no, there's more people. Maybe I should have done this quietly. I never... I never learn. 
Maybe if they all just come to us, we can clear the area. And then we can we can no. travel through safely. Another one down. I want to hack into the computer, but I don't think I'm going to have time. What is that? That's the camera. Right? Turn it off. Look at me, I'm hacking, I'm hacking the cameras! Like a true cyberpunk, uh, street kid. Alright. What? 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 Incoming! Incoming from where? Back in, but 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 what am I gonna get from in here? Oh, this again. Okay. Okay, I got two out of three. I feel like that's the best I can ever do is two out of three. I did advanced data mining. Oh shit. It's over. Did it. Is it? Okay. I mean, if your partner says it's over, then I'm assuming it's over. Why do I still hear voices then? I turned off some devices. Oh. Okay. Codeine, iodine, red phosphorus. She had an interesting mask on her face. Judy, why the fuck would you say it's over and we still hear voices? How misleading. Come out, damn it. I cannot open this door. I don't have enough skill. What is it, technical ability? Maybe it should work on technical ability, we'll see. Oh my god, Judy, I almost shot you. They must be down a different hallway. Can I just walk through here? Looks like out. snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Whoa, lots of money though. Well, not really. They're selling drugs and illegal brain dance videos. Out, All the, you know, classic bad things, basically. What is that? Hallucinogen. S. Keefe. Probably kidnap people to test it on too, you know? So cringe. What was that? Drug production station. Oh my god. Alright, we keep going. Need to get into the hallway past this room. Okay. Don't draw this out. I can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. My way is killing them because I don't know how to be stealthy. How many in this room? One? Come out, damn it! Oh, easy. We fucking kill them. Take them out there's quick. Another. Oh, there's What's more than it? one. Not the blade, there's Velvet. <laughs> Okay, I killed him. I killed him. We're good. We're good. Break the cameras. Fuck it. I feel like this heist... Not that this is a heist, but this, this mission is going a lot better than the last one I did with Jackie. Um... Eat it, assholes. Look at us now. 
Now Delta to the hallway. Um, Judy, why are you always so confidently being like, oh yeah, the fight is over when there's literally another dude coming down the hallway? Okay. Intruder detected. Enemies have been alerted. We're fucked. Is that a camera? Is that why? I'm just gonna break the cameras. Fuck hacking them. We don't have time for that. People are coming out of every single corner. What the fuck? I don't know who you are, but you're dead now. I should really be picking up every single item I come across because I do have to consider my inventory weight. Some of these items are just consumable. Back in the samurai days, we'd place what? ads in this thing looking for background dancers. I won't hurt Looks like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women. Wow, Johnny, that's so sleazy. I kind of forgot that he was a thing, and then I heard his voice, and <laughs> I was like, whoa! Who are you? Again, okay. Oh man, I I'll get better at these eventually. I guess I really should try to do them more. So that I can get better at them. Man, I failed two of them. Oh, I didn't get any Euro dollars. Bad. Can we use this? Can we turn off some more cameras? No, there's no cameras connected to this. Okay. Ooh. Wow, I blew that guy's head off! Look at me go! Brain Dance Magazine. Talent in Night City. Job offers. A magazine for actors seeking low rate work. A coffee machine. Can we hack the coffee machine? We could use it to distract enemies. That's so funny. Again, the detail in this world, huh? I guess we could hack it. I guess distracting would be like hack it and have it turn on by itself or something, you know? That'd be pretty funny. What is that? That's a... I'm picking up a bunch of weapons. I'll have to examine later. I already broke that camera. Okay. All right, let's keep going. On air? What the fuck does that mean? You are. I can't get in there. Man, we gotta up my technical abilities so I can just sneak into places. These people honestly deserve to be killed. I'll distract them. You take them down. What do you think? Show's about to start. Screw with those pipes. Get some smoke going. I think they're gonna see us before you. What, Judy? Judy gave me very minimal time to prepare. Jesus. She was just like, I'm gonna use the pipes, and then go, take him down! And I was like, what? I'm still processing what you said. <laughs> I 
I still hear voices. Another computer? Let's see what's on it. Messages? Stock question? Hey, how many barrels did we use yesterday? I can't account for two. Seven. Oh, okay. Anyway, looks like we have a new client. We will have to increase production by 15%, but nothing's set in stone yet. Thanks for the heads up. We got- we get Netrunner any day now, and before you ask, no, he has no idea what he's signed up for. Thinks he'll be testing new equipment. Oh no. Gentlemen, I have a few virtues to get rid of, but we urgently need new material. No matter the gender, the more meat than chrome, the better. Single use only, of course. I am open to negotiation. Let me know if we can come to some arrangement. Miss Shobo, maybe you should check who you address first. Damn. Oh, because <laughs> they said gentlemen. I see. Body needed for BD. Client seeking BD with white female capable of withstanding a lot. No anesthesia. Must be experienced beyond knockout gorgeous. No termination for now. Can you handle it? Oh my god, this is horrible. Is still available? I have a girl who's perfect for this. Sure is. Send a demo reel. Oh my god, what if that's Evelyn? There's no timestamps on any of this. Netrunner, unhappy ending. Hey, we'd like to buy a scroll of a Netrunner trying to break through the blo the black wall. Ending shouldn't need mentioning. Name your price and we'll pay no questions asked. But A, the scroll has to be of the primest quality, and B, we got- Oh, we get a sample before payment. We already started scouting an actor and we'll have the BD ready for you in a couple of weeks. This is horrible! They're doing the darkest things! Current month orders. Actor stripped of implants, alive, amputated at the joints, removal of internal organs, hemorrhaging. Actress placed on a stage in front of spectators must perform despite complete lack of talent. The crowd whistles, laughs, shouts names, and throws bottles. At the end, they tear her to shreds. Actor wakes up with his hand pinned down by something heavy. He has to free himself. Client will pay extra if he ends up cutting, tearing hand off. This is like some Saw level torture, really. Actress, uh, escaping from somewhere, she was held captive. She manages to get out of the building and into a car before she's caught. The girl's clever. We have to really convince her that she stands a chance. Actress wants to commit suicide. We use that. Let her jump out the window. String up a net first without her noticing. Same drill. Make her think she stands a chance. Oh my god. These are orders. These are requests that people have asked for. For videos. Current month, actors, Finnegan, Mike, deceased, Lucy, creep, deceased, oh my god, all these people have died. Evelyn Parker's on this list, but it doesn't say deceased, she's still alive. There's, she's still alive and they're maybe holding her somewhere. Oh my god, surveillance system, let's turn it off. Nine devices we just turned off, let's fucking go. Oh man, this game is crazy. I keep hitting the wrong button to exit the computers on this game, oh my god. Okay. Was this another coffee machine? No, it was a safe. Ammo! Oh my god, if they're stalking me up on ammo, that's not a good sign. That means shit's about to go down. Um, okay. Nothing else in this room. Well, one more thing. Okay, let's go. What was that? Was that me? I'm a little paranoid. Lots of loot here for sure. Oh my god, is this where they hold people? Johnny's here. Covers. Classic. Can't go wrong. Handcuffs. Intact. These human are blood. Solid steel. Not the soft core plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own gunning to become a star. There's no guarantee you're ever getting out. That's terrible. What is this? Pizza? 
Food, quality low, impossible to identify cheap, low quality food. Ugh. They keep multiple people in one room. Damn, the future, this future is super dark. the radio well what is this like a trash compactor no children or infants allowed in trash bins wow so they draw the line at children or infants but everything else is fair game well that room is red and looks suspicious Oh my god, they're giving me so much ammo. This is not a good sign. Although I feel like I've already taken out a bunch of people, but... Who's to say that there's not going to be a bunch more? I guess we're going this way. Looks like there's another tarot card beyond here, too. See it on the map. We've got the maintenance room. See what I can stir up. Yeah, Judy, you get them. I don't think I can access any of these computers. Okay, well, she's gonna look at the computers. I'm gonna enter this room, I guess. Whoa, there's a dude. I don't know if he was the only one, but I killed him. I like the pistol. There might be a surveillance camera in here. Let me check. Fire extinguisher. Scavenger. I killed him. Hostile area. There's a bunch of people in here, aren't there? A corpse, female, implants removed. What is that, an air conditioner? Blood light. God, look at all this blood. Computer? Let's see if we could turn anything off. Local network? Turn off. Yep, we turned off some more surveillance. Messages. One. New girl from Nadia Nicolia. So, is that girl Dr. Fingers gives us going to be useful for anything? This must be Evelyn. That chick is a bad omen. That's all I'll say. We should get rid of her ASAP and forget scrolling any BDs with her. Because if word about her spreads, we're fucked. What omen are you talking about? Next thing I'll find you staring into crystal balls. What are you- my- oh, what are you? My reincarnated babushka? I don't believe you're shitting your pants just because of some comatose girl. What are you on? You know what? Don't answer that. Whatever it is, just stop taking it before your brain damage gets even worse. Cause like, you can tell she's not from Jig Jig, more like clouds or even the mocks. And for the record, I don't touch our supply, and you know that. But there's this corpo. I sold him some of our shit. Apparently it made him aggressive. Smacked some joy toy across the face. He told me when it happened, he noticed a shadow of Lizzie on the wall. The girl who started the mocks. And guess what happened? A week later, he was dead. They found him in some back alley, tied to a gutter, suffocated with a stocking. It's not like I was chums with the guy, but still, that's no way to go. Who cares how you go if you're dead? Decapitated with a nail filer or shot in the spleen, it makes not one iota of difference. If it's not the RPM, then it's the BDs that are fucking with your head, because your imagination is starting to get more whack than what we're scrolling. 
So you don't care how you remembered? What if you die in the toilet, huh? <laughs> you fucking gonk, get back to work. Don't you understand? Nobody cares about you. Whose fucking memory will you be in? You would barely fill up any space on my deck. You and your fucking omens. Oh my god. Savage. Savage exchange between, like, I guess the boss and the henchman. I don't know. Damn, the lore in this world. The lore in this world. Check Discord. Oh dear, what's happening? Hello? Bonjour. Hi! Ugh. Making a video is stressful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Well, um, congrats, you must be home from work. I am. I'm working on a video to actually... At least put my name in the bin for this luminosity content creation thing. Nice. Um, I know it will go well. <laughs> Solvent said, "Welcome back." <laughs> I see that. Um. Yeah. So I made a video, but I can't post it on Twitter for some reason. So I'm downloading DaVinci Resolve currently to try and at least start like learning how to edit and shit like that mm -hmm. um so i don't know we'll see but uh do you even know what luminosity is no so luminosity is but you can keep playing by the way you don't have to oh okay yeah, this talk. is your stream um Basically, Luminosity is like, they have like competitive teams for FPS games and stuff like that, but they also have like content creators, um, like that, you know, they'll have like LG for like Luminosity gaming, like LG, like oh, Kit Kat, I, I, don't, I don't know, but like you would, I would basically be like a part of luminosity as an organization as one of their mm -hmm. content creators i don't know how interested they are in having any vtubers but like you know so they don't have any I, right now no um i did see if a couple others that i actually know also uh put in some like replies and stuff like that but i don't follow them or i didn't follow them or the head of luminosity at all on twitter and i was at work and I just got on Twitter because I was on a short break and I saw like literally like the number one thing on my four year page was the guy that's like the head of Luminosity was like, hey, we're looking for six to eight like creators, um, you know, averaging like, let me see if I can actually go find the, the tweet. But they said part. Two, I want to sign six to eight new Luminosity creators that have never been signed to a team before, specifically creators who average less than 100 CCV who feel they just need a chance to prove themselves. Um, hmm. I didn't know what CCV, CCV meant at first, but I assumed it meant viewers. viewers or something like that, yeah. But it's concurrent viewers, yeah. So concurrent. There you go. I knew it was a C word. I, um... You know, a lot of a lot of like sh streaming outlets will do something like that, and then but they actually have a track record of like when they say they're looking for people, they actually do sign people. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, I I posted or I responded with would VTubers be considered? Would love to give this a shot. And then Glizzy actually almost immediately after went and um, vouched for me, so <laughs> which was funny, but. Uh, so I'm recording crazy. a video. I'm trying to record a video of just me being me. Like, hey, you know, I'm a VTuber. My name's Jalal. I'm not like a hardcore gamer or anything like Like, I'm not like hardcore competitive gamer, but I do play FPS games. But my main thing is like, why do I stream? Why am I here? Type mm -hmm. deal rather than just say like, hey, are VTubers considered and then leave it there. Like, I want to put something out there. Mm -hmm. But... The video I recorded, which, by the way, I used phone tracking, and it's incredible. 
Um, my I eyes aren't you. rolling into the back of my head. I told um, you. Well, I Webcams knew that, Webcams but... can only do so much, you know? Mm-hmm. But my my new cord and uh, UCB-C, USB-C adapter came in, so I can actually have it plugged into the computer now. So it's, like, doing really well. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it would be cool. I mean, imagine, like, my name changes to LG Jalal, you know, LG Jalal. That would be fucking crazy. Oh, you're um, going to change your name? Yeah, probably, because I would be considered a content creator for them. But, like... It's not like anything really major. It's like I'm not changing my name, man. You know. Mm -hmm. That'd be really um, cool. It would be. I, you know, I. It's a long shot. I'm sure. Like, they don't have any VTubers, and I don't know if they're even looking for VTubers. But. Uh, you lose a hundred, or you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, right? Yeah. I, I would also get to keep my identity. You know, like, it's not like I would be joining, like, Niji Sanji, for example, and then have to, like, graduate and then come back months later to someone else and never tell anyone. Like, I'd be like, yo, like, I'm in Luminosity. I'm a Luminosity creator. Uh, and then maybe they would have, like, resources for me to, like, learn how to do, like, editing and, like, other content creation. And I, I don't know. I think it'd be a cool opportunity. I don't mean to jump into your stream and talk about it, but That's okay. I just... So it's just on my mind, and you know me. If it's on my mind, I want to just talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It would no, be cool as fuck, though. But I would have to like, I'd have to pull for luminosity in every esport, like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, is that really a bad thing? Not really. I, I don't think so. I think they're pretty good in most of them. <laughs> you don't sound too convinced. Well, I just, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm, I'm applying to a group I know very little about. I just know that they are a very successful, very big like group, and they're looking for content creators and mm -hmm. with less than a hundred concurrent viewers, which I felt I fit all of those bills. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I guess the question is, how interested are they in VTubers, and can this video that I'm potentially trying to work on even make them look my direction? Right. Well, like you said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, I'm glad that you put effort in something together. Um, anyway. How was stream? It's good! Uh, this game, Cyberpunk's story is really getting good and opening up, I think, for me. Got it out um, all her implants. It's super Why dark. Stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at mm -hmm. it. Oh, so you couldn't tell that from, like, the very beginning? Yeah, but it's gone, like, I mean, maybe this quest in specific is getting Scabby. worse. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. I guess that's fair. So. I'm pretty sure the um, the DLC or the expansion is pretty dark. Like, too. yeah. <laughs> Tater, hello. Like, I'm just saying, like, in this quest specifically, we're really kind of traversing the whole underground black market illegal sex trafficking kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, man, this is so dark and sad, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's terrible. Human trafficking, sex trafficking. You doing a long mm. stream? 12 hour stream? No, I'm not. I really didn't mean to even be going this long, but I kind of got... There's... I keep trying to save, and I guess I'm in the middle of this whole quest, and I'm... I don't know. It's not really coming to a stopping point, it seems. But I would like to stop soon, because I'm starting to get tired. 12 hour stream chat, let's go! I can. I have work on Monday. I was trying to play games, but Cat says otherwise. Yeah, they usually do. Oh my god, are there two people over there? And I've just been chilling and rifling through shit over here and they haven't noticed me? What the fuck? That's what I'm going to be working on tonight. I'm going to be trying to work on a video. Um, I, I think Glizzy said it would be a good idea potentially for me to add like a clip or two from my streams mm -hmm. to kind of like show. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't. But um, I don't know. It could be cool. It could be... Oh, 
I gotta restart my computer, so I'll see you when you're done with stream later. Oh, he's gotta restart, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm installing DaVinci Resolve 18, so... Oh, good luck. Thank you. Bye, chat! Bye. 12 hours trim. No, I wish. I said, um, this said like last week that I want to do at least one more 12 hour stream before the end of the year. Um, I just have to find the right day. Maybe when I have some, like, time off or holidays or something. Keep donors sedated. I could open this door. Oh shit. I mean, is it helpful to go that way, or should I just go this way? I don't- I don't really know. Let's go this way, I guess. Maybe this is like a sneak-around way. I hate that everyone here is dumber than bricks. Or I could just crack your skull and shut you up. Who is this? Let's see. Just another scav? A rat? Inf affiliation scavengers. Okay, well, same thing. Short circuit? Is, like, I could short circuit a person? Is that what that's saying? No one. I just hate it. It always smells like piss. I could just shoot course. them too, like. Take a walk to the dogs. Your brain is F. I hate the dogs too. The whole city is one giant rot pile. Yep, let me see your head. I'll get you with the silencer. Please. <clears throat> this is gonna go terribly wrong, but at this point, when do my plans ever go correctly? I'll cut you like that! Exactly. I know where she is. No. Wait. Just seeing things. Huh? No, you're totally just seeing things. I'm not reloading right now. We are not using our melee weapon in a gunfight, Velvet. Oh, everybody's coming out now. Jesus. What did I say? My plans. My plans never go well. Why do I feel like- Oh, you know what? Am I not aiming down sight? I'm not. I was like, why does my- Why do my bullets feel like they're going all over the place? That's a gore. Plans? Plans usually only last for the first step. You're so right. So true. Every time I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be stealth and I'm gonna get through here without anybody seeing me. Um, it goes terribly wrong. Did I already jack in here? I believe I did. Oh, I didn't. Well, I turned off something now. I think we already jacked in though. I think I jacked in and then I forgot to turn off the surveillance. Is that what happened? I already fucked up. Oh, I got two this time. Then, then they keep turning into wing it the more steps you do. <laughs> That's literally me. Literally me. I don't know what happened to me, because when we played Tomb Raider, I used to be a lot better, I think, at stealth. And Cyberpunk, I feel like stealth is really hard. Maybe I'm still not super comfy with the controls. But I kind of suck at stealth. Everything turns into a gunfight. And there's still a dude in here. Oh my god. I can't pick up too much because my- We've been in here for so long, I haven't had a chance to do... Inventory sorting. And so... I'm kind of at my limit here. Oh, 
I would like to just kill this motherfucker. Where are you? Oh, you're in another room. Oh my god. They're just throwing bodies into the inferno. Maybe she's here already. There's Johnny. Who is this? A dead Beast netrunner. A puppet in a virtue that killed him. Then tore out his implants. Another one. Does not belong to Evelyn Parker. Okay. Pick up everything, but I don't have the space. I'm such a loot goblin, but I cannot loot everything. Can I loot people? Can I shoot people through windows? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to test it and fuck something up. Let's go check out the upstairs. Maybe there are some more devices we could turn off? Hmm, I see a computer. We get to a little bit of hacky hacky, maybe? Okay, what can we do here? We could turn off the furnace? Oh, we can force a detonation. I didn't mean to do that now. Everybody knows I'm fucking here. Oh my god. Well. Not what I wanted, but, you know. It happened. Can I jump this distance? There's an entrance across. Like I said, I don't feel like Cyberpunk is too much of like the platforming type of game. Oh, but it did let me jump across! Okay. Maybe with enough, like, mo Ah, I fell! Fuck! I was gonna say, maybe with enough momentum, we try again. What would be the point of this, though? Oh, I thought this was gonna be, like, a secret entrance. Damn, I guess not. I got so excited for nothing! Alright, well... My name is, Sergeant Dunn, and today... is that a camera? Well, we broke it. I think it was already off, though. While out shopping, our friend, we gotta go this way. Sector 3. Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Straight up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Oh good, because this is a mess. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. I mean, listen Judy, these people are terrible. They're doing horrible things. I feel like, at this point, it's justified. There's a couple of doors here though. Alright, I'm here. Let's find her. Hang in there, Ed. More bodies. Oh shit, there's somebody in there? Are we killing them? I killed him. <laughs> oh, two people. I killed him. <laughs> I'm, I'm killing the bad guys. I'm killing the bad guys! And stealing their money. Welcome to N sixty four news. I'm Jillian Jordan, and this is the latest. This is like they were the just world. hanging in here. The lunar ring sky oh fuck! Now they all heard me. What do you mean they heard me though? Oh, 
That's the elevator. I can't open that. Okay, well, she fixed the elevator, so we have a quick getaway. It's over. We Judy did. constantly says it's over, but it's not really over. I think she just says that when we're, like, a far enough distance away. But that's a lie. Okay, we're gonna go this way. People in here? Nobody in here. We could turn off the cameras. Not that they- and they've already seen me, but... Fizz, hello, hello! Are you getting into trouble by being such an amazing driver? We haven't really done much driving today. We're doing a lot of, like, fucking exploring. But hello, I hope you had a good day. I must have to up to bed. Have a good rest of stream. <gasps> Thank you! Thank you, Tater. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you for hanging. I hope you sleep well and have sweet dreams. Stream is going well. The story is really good. I'm really enjoying this quest we're doing. Super dark and sad, but really, really captivating right now. Oh my god. It is. It is no. I really don't want to keep going too much longer because I want to come to a stopping point. But we're in the middle of a quest! Oh my god, Salva, not shouting me out too. Jeez. Oh, I really fucked that up. Okay, let's just use the computer. I don't really want to jack in. No, I don't want to jack in. Oh, fuck. Let's see if I can turn off any devices. Surveillance system, turn it off. Let's go. You hear what I hear? 24 hour stream? No, I can't. I have work on Sunday. I mean,. Fuck, on Monday! On Monday at work! I can't even speak. You know, if anything, because this seems like we're just kind of going deeper and deeper. And this is not coming to an end. Maybe this is a good place to stop because we're in this room that's kind of safe and doesn't have any enemies. So if I respawn or reload in here, it should be okay. Because I'm actually really hungry too. Oh, no worries, Andy. Get some rest. Thank you for hanging. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Sleep well. Apollo, hello, hello. It's not letting me save, which is what makes... Oh, it's letting me save here? Wait, this is the first time it's been letting me save. Yes. Disaster piece. Oh my gosh. So, so, so real, so true. Hmm. <clears throat> this is an excellent sign. This is- <clears throat> it's letting me save for the first time this whole quest. So, this is a good place to stop then. I really have to pee again. Oh my god. I'm really- I'm really liking this quest though, <clears throat> and I'm invested. I'm invested in the story. Um, so that's why I kind of got lost and I kept playing. Not lost, like, you know, I didn't get lost. I got lost in the story. And I kept playing the game. <laughs> uh, let me stop rambling. Because it's almost past my bedtime. <laughs> I know it's Saturday, but I had a, long, a busy, exhausting day of moving furniture and stuff. So I am tired. <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit, too. I'm not used to streaming so long and talking.
I heard 48 hour? No, no, I can't. Someday, maybe, I'd love to try and do a super long endurance stream, but not anytime soon. Yikes forever, I know. It's letting you stay in preparation of the 24 hour stream. <laughs> 24 hours! I would love to do another 24 hour stream again. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I'd like to really try and go for 24 hours. Like, I did a 24 hour stream, but I kind of slept through part of it, right? I don't know. I, I'd like to try again. But that is it for today's stream. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me on your Saturday. Playing more Cyberpunk. I really am loving this game. Um, we'll be back to playing this regularly on the channel. I don't know what the schedule for this week is going to be like yet because we got Thanksgiving. And I want to do something, but I don't know on what day. So I'll see. I have to I have to plan. But I'll hopefully have the schedule up by tomorrow or Monday. For sure I'll be back again on Tuesday, as always. So I'll be back Tuesday, 8 o'clock, with more Cyberpunk. W stream, thank you, Apollo! <laughs> Big W, thank you, Fizz. This is um my annual not annual. <laughs> Uh, at my, my, my every stream little plug of all of the things, um, you can find me on Twitter where I also post stream updates, announcements, art, other velvet shenanigans. Um, I also have two YouTube channels where I post, post, see, I need to sleep, where I post short form content on the main channel and VODs on the VOD channel. The entire cyberpunk playthrough, all the VODs are getting uploaded to the VOD channel, so if you've missed the story so far, or you want to go back and relive an epic velvet fail, it is on the VOD channel. I have actually the last- this stream- I have like three that I'm behind on. This one and the last two. But they will be up this week, and so far the whole playthrough is up. And if you are not already, we have a Discord server, Velvet's Court. That is the best place to chat with me offline, off stream share memes, pet photos, anything, anything your heart desires, I will respond or react to just almost everything. So yeah, so it's a cool place if you mind, if you don't mind joining. <laughs> annual plug, let's go. <laughs> I'm trying to get better, not annual, like once a year. I used to do them like once a year, but I'm trying to get better about remembering to share this kind of stuff. I can't believe it's been a year already. <laughs> oh gosh. Now, let me find a raid victim. <gasps> yes, I know. You did send me something. And I, I have to do it. I'm going to do it. I know. Top secret. Shh. Trade secrets. But <laughs> I will get that done. Don't worry. Um, As I'm finding a raid victim, I'm going to throw my raid messages into chat. If you are a follower, please feel free to use the first message. It has some desktop emotes. Those are my Oshi marks that everybody can use. But if you are a subscriber, please feel free to use the message with dancing velvies. Let me see here. Making sure. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries. I have a couple of DMs that I'm kind of behind on answering, so <laughs> I will get to them. It was just a kind of a crazy week. But I will get to them, if not tomorrow, then Monday for sure. I promise I'm not ghosting anybody. I'm so sorry. Let me see here. Final raid victim. Bum, bum, bum. <gasps> oh man, we have choices. We have choices. Let's see. I want to send you guys over something cozy and wholesome. Because cyberpunk was very dark and stressful. So let's uh let's have a little bit of a cleanse, shall we? A palate cleanse. <laughs> yes, here we go. I'm gonna send you guys over to Aries, who's playing some Minecraft. Aries is an absolute sweetheart, dear friend of the channel, an amazing artist. Let us send her a raid. There we go. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on your Saturday. I so appreciate it. I had so much fun. 
I hope to see you guys again soon. Please don't forget to eat and hydrate and take care of yourselves. And I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.